Hello my weebs and gamers, welcome to another Gaunt stream, Giguk stream, whatever you want to call it. Gamers, how are you doing today? How are you doing today, gamers? The Anime Zone, yes, that's what we'll, well, that's what we'll go by today. We're going to be go by, going by the Anime Zone today because we are going to be doing an anime stream. No Genshin today, unfortunately, guys. We're going to be just talking about anime. <laughs> The only two things I'm good for, Genshin and anime, right? <laughs> you try the AI anime filter yet? I have not tried that yet. Not a Genshin stream. Oh, guys, can you, can you not read the title? There's, there's, there's a stream title about what I'm going to be doing, at least for the next few hours. <laughs> They're the same thing. <laughs> so, anyway... What we are going to be doing today is we are going to be doing is we are going to be going through the entirety of the winter 2023 anime season chart. It's I know it's almost the new year. I can't believe it either, and it's almost Spot the end of the fall Sentinels season. Because of you and Joey's raving reviews, better be good. Oh, oh, you you will not be disappointed, my guy. As long as, as long as you like story and reading and uh, a lot of like text then you you will you will enjoy it if you enjoy if you're a connor guy and you skip uh cut scenes uh 90 of the game is uh cut scene so uh <laughs> good 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 luck with that so it's a book it's it's not really a well it's it's i'd say it's closer to a interactive visual novel um with a little bit of turn-based strategy in it but it's amazing it's amazing Oh, how far have you made it into trails? Um, I'm like, so I, I I know I talked about trails in like my previous podcast episode that I was looking to get into it. Um, so I'm like, I did actually start it. I'm about 23 hours into Trails in the Sky. Um, I'm having a good time so far. It's a little bit of a slow start to the game, but I kind of expected that. Uh, since a lot of people told me it would be, so I'm I'm in this for the long run. I'm in this, I'm in this for the long run, basically. I'm just I'm just uh, just slowly getting through the game. That's hell you're walking into. I know, man. I know. <laughs> Pewds Pewd knife. Yeah, yeah. Pewds never should have given me this knife. I'm like, I fidget with this way too fucking much. He he know he knows me too well, man. He knows <laughs> fellow ADHD, man. I'm I'm gonna try and stop fidgeting with that because uh it's it's gonna get it's gonna get really annoying <laughs> knives are, knives are dangerous don't worry this is just this is this has got a dull edge it's not a real knife it's just it's just really something you can uh play with <clears throat> camera quality is so good it feels pre-recorded don't worry my guy this is not pre-recorded okay okay and i definitely definitely didn't plant a comment in in that exact moment just to call it out because uh, this is this is completely live, guys. This is completely live. Hold on, I realize my door is open. <clears throat> uh. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to be we are going to be going through the winter twenty twenty three anime chart. Uh, it is a very very long chart this time. Uh, it's I've noticed that. Anime charts have been getting progressively longer and longer every time. There are more and more shows every season. Uh, and the last stream I did for the fall 2022 anime chart lasted for like four and a half hours. And this one, when I was checking it, it has on its chart, it has an extra 11 or 12 shows, which is fucking ridiculous. I don't know how they keep producing so much anime. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more cutthroat in this uh, in this anime chart stream. So I'm going to make a rule. If there is a sequel and I haven't seen its previous seasons or I have no interest in it, uh, we're just going to skip it and we're not going to watch the trailer. Um, so I'm only going to watch the trailer if I've either seen the previous season or I have like a little bit of interest in the new season. Uh, because it's, we, it's, there is a lot to fucking get through. <laughs> ADHD gang. My wife, editor, couldn't figure out what this random clicking sound was on my early YouTube audio recordings. 
Turns out it was my aluminum infinity cube. <laughs> Bro, like I, 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 I don't need more fidget toys in my life. Um, I just like if if I have fidget toys, then I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna play with it for too long and not get any work done. Uh, Genshin, no, no Genshin today. Any anyone can read the stream title. Uh, but before we start, I didn't get to say this on yesterday's trash taste Christmas stream. Congratulations, Argentina, for winning the World Cup. Um, thank God you won the World Cup. Not just because I was so happy that Messi absolutely fucking deserved it. Uh, but the French would have been even more... <laughs> <laughs> but as as an as an Englishman, the French would have been even more unbearable for another four years. So th thank you very much, Argentina. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> but it's it it was an amazing game. I th I think that was definitely the best World Cup final I have seen in my lifetime. I can't think of a better one. I'm not sure if it's the best World Cup final in history but it was definitely the best World Cup final in my lifetime. My fucking God, man. My God. LeBron did great. <laughs> yo, yo, when LeBron came on as a substitute, that's, that's when I, that's, that's when things changed, man. That's, that's when I perked up. Team Japan for the win. Ah, I know, man, I know. Now we, we already got, we already got Blue Lock. We already got Blue Lock. Deft versus Faker was better. Honestly, like, We've, I've had, we've, I've, we've had like the best World Cup final in my lifetime, and also the best league worlds in my lifetime. I think as well. So it's, it's a, it's been a crazy year for world finals in the sporting world. Anyway, we are just going to get started because, as I said, there is a lot to get through. So we're not going to dilly dally today. If this is your first anime chart stream, we have a tier list of how we rate every anime trailer. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through every single anime trailer, except for some of the sequels, as I just mentioned. Uh, and then we're gonna see if we're gonna, if it's going to be either a must watch, if it's, if we're gonna give it three episodes, if we're gonna give it one episode, or if I'm going to skip it. Um, and the reason uh, that we are doing a one episode rule is because there is too much anime nowadays. It used to be the three episode rule. No, we got we got to shorten it. Some are now three episodes and some are now one episode and some are just an instant skip. Uh, and by one episode, I basically reserve that for... <laughs> That's my personal tier list because it's just like when an isekai comes up, I'm like, could be one episode. I don't know. I'll give it an episode. <laughs> to most people, I'm sure it's a skip though. Fall 2022 was a fantastic season. I absolutely agree. Uh, I think Fall 2022 was the best season of the year. So we are going to be going through the, uh, we're going to be using AniChart. Uh, if you've never used AniChart, this is just my site of choice. Um, and that's just because the My Anime List user interface sucks ass for streams. You can't like, I, I can't like zoom in like this. Um, so this just makes it very much more convenient. So, uh, the first anime we have is Ars no Kyoju. Uh, what is this about? It's by Asahi Productions. I don't think I'm familiar with that. The story takes place in an age of swords, heroes, and myths. Giant beasts created the lands but then humans stole that land. This angered the beast, who then started eating humans. God fucking damn. Why can't humans stay in their goddamn lanes all the fucking time? Taking over land. Humans, why, why we gotta do this, man? In order to fight back, humans call upon... <laughs> What is this? So in order to fight back, humans called upon the gods. The Kyoju beasts started spreading around the world, causing great damage, but humans fought back <laughs> but humans fought back by hunting the Kyoju. Humanity also prospered by by using the dissected parts of the beast. What am I reading? Jiro is a man who has escaped death, and he hunts Kyoju to earn a living. He meets twenty and he meets 20 and second Kumi, who is being chased by someone. Thank you very much for the raid. Jiro and his friends then start to uncover the secrets of this world. Um, so 
just from just from reading this, just just from reading this, um, people 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 say isekais. It's definitely not isekai. Um, it's uh, so humans humans stole lands that beast beast had ruled this land before. People are saying fancy. It doesn't sound like a fancy. Uh, it just sounds like fucking Australia. Uh, I'm. This sounds like an Australia simulator. I'm very, very excited to see what the Aussies, what the Aussies are doing, um, how they're like trying to take back the land from the beasts. Um, so let's. Uh, Ohio, the anime. No, <laughs> this ain't Ohio. Yeah, it's 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 Ohio. It's Ohio crossed with Australia. <laughs> let's have a look at the trailer for this. <sighs> All right, how many trailers we got? We have two trailers for this one. Ooh, I forgot to put in headphones. Hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, let's go. That is not what I want to do. That is the Genshin stream. Let's get back to anime. There we go. Let me make sure the sound is not going to blow out my headphones as well. Um, hold on. Okay, let's change that to 80 and that is good. Okay. Should be ready now. Let's if it's uh if it's too loud, too quiet, just give me a shout guys. Holy shit! Holy shit! Fencer Brave, thank you very much for the 100 gift subs. My god! <laughs> Holy shit, man! Thank you so much! We're starting off the stream strong. My god, man, thank you! Oh my god! Alright, <laughs> that, that, was, that was more hype than the trailer so far. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is about. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely Australia. Oh, I love the fact that they have the animation for this one. It's like a little bit of the Emu War. Oh man, this is just the great Emu War, man. Is this a banger right here? Is this is this a fucking banger right here? Yo, was that was that fucking attack on Titan right there? <laughs> that looks like some attack on Titan shit, man. Oh damn, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's let's see the second trailer. <laughs> is, is, what, he's fucking Super Saiyan. Is that Lancer? Bro, what what the fuck is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, 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 where is that spear? Did it? Did any? Did anyone? Did anyone see that spear? Did anyone see that spear? Let me, let, let, let me, let me, let me pause again. Let me, let me pause again. Just. <laughs> what, 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 wait, wait, wait. What is going on there? How does this work? How does this work? What the fuck? Wait, wait. 
Where's the other end of the spear? What the fuck? Yo, is this Raiden Shogun's sister? <laughs> Yo, honestly, a great, great place to store a weapon. I don't know how that works uh, in physics, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you've ever wanted to, <laughs> if you've ever wanted to hide a spear, that's the perfect place, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't, I didn't think that looked bad. It didn't look great, but um, what I liked about that, what what uh, stood out for me was that there seemed to be a lot of different elements going on in this one. You had fantasy you had like a bit of technology with the ships and stuff and everything and then you had like the giant monsters it, it kind of seems like there's like kaiju slaying um and then you had boob spear and for that alone i think it's worth a watch um the question is am i going to give this one episode or give this three episodes the only thing that's bringing me down is that the animation looked pretty bog standard it looked didn't look bad it just looked a little bit like bog standard the I, I saw a little bit of cg of course of course i saw a little bit of cg and that did not uh that did not look great to me <laughs> question is am i going to give this one episode or three episodes i think i'll give this way let, let me let me look into your side productions what, what have they done what have they done Doll's Frontline, that was okay. Um, nothing major that I can see. They did Madaka Box back in the day? What? They've been around for this long? What is this based on? Is this based on a manga? Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's an anime original production. Okay, you know what? Just because it's an anime original production, I'll give it three episodes because if it's an anime original, I'm always a little bit more interested because we don't have manga readers to spoil us on everything. So we don't know how the story's gonna be and we don't know, uh, we have no presence for this. So I'm gonna give this one three episodes. Three Lance boobs out of, <laughs> three Lance boobs out of 10. The script was better, <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> Moving on to uh, Ayakashi Triangle. Japan may, be brim Japan may be brimming with mysterious monster... Uh, I, let, me, let me say that again. My mind is still waking up. Sorry guys, I just woke up. <clears throat> Japan may be brimming with mysterious monsters called Ayashiki. Ayakashi, I should say. <laughs> Uh, but they have a special exorcist ninja force to counter the threat. Young exorcist ninja Matsuri spends his day fighting Ayakashi to protect his childhood friend Suzu. But, the, but when an Ayakashi cat named Shiragane shows up, things, things get turned upside down. That was a whole load of nothing. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the trailer. You know, okay, I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough. Okay, you know what I call these kinds of shows? These kinds of shows I call, I wanna be hentai so bad, right? Because there are shows where it's like, I can't believe it's not hentai, but if you've watched any hentai, it's on about like this level of animation, but the fucking fan service looks so basic that it's not even, it's not even in the same league. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, isn't this just an etchy yo? My guy, my guy. There are etchy that can like there are etchy out there that have really fucking good animation. You, you know, you know, one of the selling points of like etchy anime is that it just has better animation than a lot of hentai you can see. You know, that's that's really like one of the that's really one of the biggest selling points. That's basically what anything Studio Passion do, right? They they are like the etchy kings at this point. Um this one just looks basic on every single level. Uh, and the animation looks worse than some hentai that I've seen. So you gotta ask yourself, why would you watch this show? Why would you, why would you watch this etchy um, over just one, watching a straight up hentai, or two, watching etchy that actually look like they, you know, that actually look really fucking good? Uh, I don't normally like to skip shows immediately. I normally like to give everything 
our first chance. But I could not I could not see much. I could not see much in this. It's by the two love ruler author. I don't know, man. Even so, even so, that that did not. Ugh. Is that enough? Is that enough for me to give it a chance? That it looked, it looked so bad. It it, it looked really bad. <laughs> um, Joey says hype. <laughs> Yo, Joey, Joey doesn't even watch anime anymore, man. Joey, Joey definitely ain't watching this. What what the fuck are you talking about? You know what? You know what? Just because it's by the to love reauthor, I'm going to say this is worth a chapter, not an episode. A chapter, okay? That that is it. <laughs> we ain't we ain't watching the anime. Hell hell fucking no, man. Hell no. That looks shit. That looked that looked bad. I'm gonna give that one a skip. That that I looked at that and I was like, if you're watching this and you choose to watch this over reading the manga, man, you got your priorities wrong. Moving on. Two. Uh, ben Ah, we got a we got our first Isekai guy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, <laughs> this is where, this is where we're at. Finally, our first isekai. Only three episodes in. Oh, so, sorry, only three shows in. Benria Saito-san, isekai ni iku. Handyman Saito has never been anyone special. All his life, he's had an average grade. Ordinary, uh, He's had an average grade, ordinary athletic skills, a commonplace job, but his remarkable path takes a turn when he wakes up in another world. Here, warriors, wizards, and elves accompany him on a quest delving deep into dungeons. And Saito realizes that for the first time, that's what, um, and Saito realizes for the first time what it's like to be needed. Oh my God, that's, yo, yo, that, oh, my, my guy, my guy looking for a W, man. After all, who other than the handyman could be trusted to open locks? Uh, other, after all, who other than the handyman could be trusted to open locked treasure chests or repair his allies' equipment? Beginning with a simple thank you. This is the story of an ordinary first uh, of an ordinary person's fulfilling life. This is a. Uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> this sounds like. Um, <clears throat> Sounds like the lockpick lawyer isekai edition, right? What, what does he do? He uh, opens up treasure tests. <laughs> is that it? Is, is, is that what he does? Let's have a look at the trailer. Let's, let's have a look at the trailer. We have two trailers for this. Oh, it's by Katakawa, because of course it is. It's, it's isekai, so of course it's Katakawa. <laughs> Wait, why, why the fuck did the Roomba get isekai'd? What the hell? Oh man, this is this is this is this is so sad. This is so sad. It's like <laughs> Oh my god. I just realized this is on. <laughs> This is this is like my guy just wants to be appreciated, man. Um, it's like a salary man just that just wants to be appreciated. Oh man. Oh my guy. Oh my guy. I feel that, man. I feel that. Oh, 
斎藤の香りはどこにもいないからな People saying skip? People saying skip? Did it, you know what? That looked pretty wholesome. Is, did, did, anyone, did anyone not feel that that looked pretty fucking wholesome? Like, like let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see the second trailer. That, that, that one didn't look too bad. その男からは全く魔力を感じない。この世界の人間ではないのかもしれん。なんだ。ここは子供の頃から運動も勉強もそこそこ。だけど決して一番に。あ、ストファキングロックピックロイヤー。ああ。You're <laughs> <laughs> That's four. All right. Five is binding. <laughs> the most terrifying thing you can hear in an isekai world. Nine. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm just a sucker, but fuck me, I'm getting the feels, man. Is, there, is, is anyone getting, like, the feels? <laughs> it's just... Uh, I, this is hitting a bit... This is, this is getting a bit too real, man. What the fuck? How is an isekai getting this real, man? What the, what the hell? What, man? Oh. Oh. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> that uh unironically it's it's very it's very rare for a trailer to sell me uh on an anime without using just pure visuals or animation because normally normally it's either like the like really really good looking animation that sells me on a show I've never heard of before um but that trailer did a really really good fucking job that scene where that that first and second trailer where he's where he just feels really really fucking underappreciated and then you just hear all of the people call out of his uh call out his name and just like he feels appreciated that fucking that that like that, that got some feelings fucking welling up man that uh that was that was actually really powerful <laughs> for for just 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 that was a really powerful way to show me what your show was about um I can't really think of an isekai. There's this, cause I, I've, I've read the synopsis and I'm like, oh, there's plenty of isekai where the main guy doesn't have any powers or he doesn't have any special abilities, but then he finds a way to be useful that is secretly OP and stuff like that. I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this is going for that vibe. I think this is just going for, a, I think this is just going for a vibe where a guy gets transported to a fantasy world and he just finds a place where he actually feels appreciated for the human being that he is. And that's that's just wholesome as fuck. That that is that is just wholesome as fuck, man. It's <laughs> uh it is I'm gonna give this three episodes. I, I I'm I'm gonna give this I'm I'm gonna give this three episodes. Re zero, my guy. Re zero. Like, Subaru can respawn, man. Super Subaru can fucking respawn. That's pretty fucking OP, you know. Mushoku Tensei is like that. Yeah, hell yeah, Mushoku Tensei is like that. Uh, but you know, uh, he does like in Mushoku Tensei, Rudius is still pretty strong. You know, he's 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 pretty strong. This guy just looks like he can pick locks. 
<laughs> this guy just, this guy just looks like he can pick rocks, uh, pick locks, and uh, he has a Roomba. And I don't know how useful a Roomba is in the new world. Um, I I'm gonna give this one three episodes. I think this is gonna be a wholesome show. Um, and I was very very impressed with the trailer. Um, even even if it got a little too real there for a second. Um, kind of felt, you know, you know, you know what it felt like when they were all calling out his name. It kind of felt like an Evangelion-esque kind of, uh, an Evangelion-esque kind of scene where it's just like, congratulations, congratulations, guys, congratulations, congratulations. Um, if this does just happen to be a nothing slice of life, uh, I'm, I'm going to be a little disappointed. I hope they do a bit more of an emotional impact on the main character's story arc and just realizing that he's found a place where he's accepted. I think that would be a pretty cool story. But I am going to give this one three episodes on a good track record for these guys so far. <clears throat> Moving on to Buddy Daddies. What a, what a, we got on, we got another anime original, uh, anime original from PA Works. Two professional contract criminals are up to their biggest mission yet, taking care of a child. Ah, what is this? Spike's family, uh, <laughs> Spike's family LGBT edition. Let's have a look at the trailer. What have we got? We have got... Is that three trailers? Yeah, we've got three trailers. We've got three short trailers. Alright, this... You know, you, <clears throat> you know what? You know what this is going to... Uh, you, know, you know what this is going to lead up to? How cute the kid is, okay? As we all know, every anime about fathers taking care of their daughters, it, it all depends on how adorable the fucking kid is, man. We don't care about the dads. We don't care about the dads. That's unimportant, okay? How adorable is your fucking kid? That's all that really matters. All right, that wasn't a lot. Is there like a longer trailer? Let me see if there's a longer trailer that's been released. That's great. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um, we didn't see the kid at all, man. We didn't see the kid at all. There's no, there's no longer trailer yet? Ah, goddamn. I would have liked to see. I would. I would have liked to see more. I would have liked to see more of what uh, what's on display here. So, initial impressions. This is just fucking Spike's family. Like, there's there's, there's nothing. There's this is just Spike's family. Um, with two dads. It's Pride X family. I don't understand. This is an anime original, and I don't. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't understand why, did, did they make this on the, uh, on the tailcoats of Spike's family? Did they see how successful that was doing and they wanted to make their own version? Uh, it, the, the trailers didn't blow me away, but it is by PA Works and PA Works are on a fucking tear right now. I don't know what it is that they're doing. They're just doing a lot of weird shit right now. Uh, they, like, last year they did... I mean, I, sh I should say, this year they did Akiba Made Wars, which was insane. It's an insane concept. And before that they did um, Your Boy Kongming, which is an equally insane concept. Uh, now they're doing... Uh, they're doing basically their own version of Spike's family, it seems like. I'm gonna give this one a chance because it is PA Works and they've been doing some weird shit recently, but it's all been really, really fucking good. And I trust PA Works and I remember that the trailers of Akiba Made Wars did not really show what the show was about as well. It didn't really sell me, but I trusted PA Works to deliver and they did. Um, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this one I'm gonna give this one at least one episode, it's possibly possibly three episodes. But right now, it's out of one episode. Maybe if the longer trailer comes out and it impresses it, it, it impresses me a bit more, I'll give it three episodes. But based on just these very short trailers, it's a one episode watch. I don't know what I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know how good it's gonna be. But the problem is the real pro the real problem this show has is that Spy X family exists, right? And everyone's going to compare it to Spike's family. And the problem is, 
I don't see it being as good as Fi <laughs> I don't see it being as good as Spike's family because that show is fucking god tier. So that's the big problem this show will have. Um, and so right now I'm not too sold on the idea. It is an anime original, but I'll give it an episode at least. Anya is cuter. I mean, there. <laughs> I mean, on the daughter levels, they're like few daughters can fucking top Anya. Come on, come on. She's, her power level is too strong. She is the Goku of daughters, guys. Come on, please. <laughs> Anya's just built different. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Bungo Stray Dogs. Okay, so I do actually have an interest in this one, even though I haven't seen some of the previous seasons. So we're just gonna watch the trailer and see if there's anything interesting that comes up in the trailer. ケンニンのゴソイの正体はここでクイズ。私は何しに来たでしょうか。全人の顔をかぶった殺人集団。現実回転の組織ケンニンのゴソイ。その構成員はごめん。現実はハルページオンの墨出した書いた内容が現実にな
It's got four fucking seasons. Like, most anime can't get two seasons, let alone four seasons. Uh, so... I, I'm... Um, there, um, there must be something there. There must be something there. Or it's just really fucking popular. Because it's got four seasons. So there must be a lot of shows... Uh, there must be a lot of people watching it. So, yeah. Right now, I'm going to wait. And if there's a lot of talk about Bungo Stray Dogs, then I'm going to watch it one day. I'm going to watch it one day. And until then, I'm just going to watch every trailer and see if uh, how, and see how intense it looks because it, like every trailer I've watched of Bringo Stray Dogs has gotten more and more intense every time. One day, one day, the same way I watch Full Metal Alchemist, right, guys? <laughs> right after, right after Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> you know what? I'll watch it after I finish. I'll watch it after I finish playing all of the Trail series. How how about that, guys? How about that? All right, moving on to Card Fight Vanguard. I have no interest in this, uh, so I'm not. Go I'm going to skip that. Uh, D4 DJ All Mix. This is apparently a second season. Uh, I didn't. I've never heard of this anime before. I did not know that this. Was, there was a first season of this. Looks like an idol anime, so I'm going to skip this one as well. Fucking hell. What, what, what is up with all these? What is up with all these? We've we've had like four. What is this? Four like new seasons in a row. Uh, Don Machio. I do actually have an interest in this one. So let's uh, let's let's have a watch, let's have a look at the trailer for this one. I want to see whereabouts Don Machi is. Is this Don Machi? Yeah. Damn, what is going- look, this season's looking pretty dark, man! <laughs> Yo, did, did fucking Dan Machi go full Goblin Slayer? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good. That, that, that didn't look good. <laughs> That's not the good CG. That's not the good one. What what is it? What why why is it always dragons? Why 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 is it always dragons that look fucking horrifying in CG? It's it's always a dragon. Ever since Fate 2004, it that Fate put a curse on all anime to be like if you want to make a dragon in CG, it's going to look horrible. <laughs> お前の首だけ。絶対やだ。やっと行ける。みんなのところへ。その手で。オーストリアファミリー。私の大切な仲間たち。決めた。今日からあんたのことはリオンって呼ぶわ。結局何を本当にするかは自分次第なんだ。リ
Is this sword art online? <laughs> Good joke from twenty from twenty fourteen, my guy. <laughs> it became SAO, bro. It was always SAO. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you are you are you are you are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I saw I saw a guy in chat ask, "Is this worth watching?" So I've only watched two seasons of Dan Machi. Um, it is just to me, Dan Machi is just really nice junk food. Um, very similar to Sao actually. <laughs> unironically, unironically, it's it's very. Is it worth watching? I would say no, but will I probably marathon all the seasons one day when I'm bored and I have nothing better to do? Yeah, that's that's me and Dan Machi. Um, I can recommend better shows that you can spend your time on, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes I want a nice fucking greasy McDonald's. Sometimes Instead of like cooking a nice meal for myself, I want to order a fat, greasy Pizza Hut or a fat, greasy Domino's or Papa John's, and that's done muchy for me, guys. That's that's fucking done muchy for me. Um, there are sometimes where I like I could watch something better, um, and then I end up marathoning an entire season of Sao or Dan Machi. Um, not many people know this because it's it's a meme to clown on something like Sao. Do you know what I realized the other day? I realized I've watched every single piece of SAO media that has been released. <laughs> Aside from the new movies. Aside from the new movies, I've watched every single piece of SAO media that's been released in anime form. I, uh, so I, uh, so I actually enjoy this shit. I actually enjoy this shit. And I can say wholeheartedly that no, it is not worth watching Dan Machi, but if you want some nice junk food, then yes, it is very, very worth watching Dan Machi. If you want to watch a good show, my guy, we, we are inundated with good shows right now. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this, uh, I looked, uh, look in this trailer, I'm like, I'll, I'll definitely catch up to Dan Machi as well. Uh, it's, there's going to be like a day where there's, there's gonna be a season where it's gonna be a pretty quiet season. It's not this season, this season's fucking banging. It's gonna be a pretty quiet season, and I've already watched all of SAO, so I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll catch up to Dan Machi again. One day, huh? I, 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 I ironically, I think, I, think my, I think I'm more likely to catch up to this than I am to catch up to Bungo Stray Dogs. <laughs> okay, moving on. But before we move on, quick pee break. I'll be right back, guys.
All right. <clears throat> um. Okay. And we are back. Okay. I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read the synopsis. But is this going to be an isekai? Is, is this going to be an isekai, or is it a just just a fantasy? Just a fantasy. Let's uh, let's see. <clears throat> This is definitely a light novel. Saikyo no Minarai Kishi. I'm like, oh, oh, this is, uh, this is definitely, definitely a fucking light novel. God, I have to, I have to like gasp for air halfway through that fucking title. After a life devoted to serving his country and people, Inglis, Inglis, what a what a, what a fucking name! So, sounds like they're trying to say Ingr uh, Ing Inglis. Um, Inglis, one wish to be free of uh, Inglis. Inglis has one wish to be free of a king's burden, and to train was her uh, was actually heard. But as a beautiful girl reborn in the far wait wait. Wait, reborn in the far future. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, reborn in the far future as a daughter to renowned knights, Inglis can now focus on mastering the martial arts. A wish has been granted, and Inglis will. <laughs> every time I every time I read Inglis, I want to say English. Mates, my my boy's English. A wish has been granted, and Inglis will be on the front lines fulfilling the dream of becoming the strongest knight. Bro, that's Spanish. Inglis. Okay. Um, seems like a... Uh, okay. Chat, do we count reborn stories to be isekai? Is this an isekai? Or is this... Or is this something else? Are, are, are we counting reborn in the future to be isekai? Because technically... Technically... It's the same world. So technically, it's closer to a tra time travel, right? Closer to a time travel. <laughs> Fantasy plus reborn equals isekai. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the trailer for this. How many trailers we got? We have two trailers. なんでも叶えましょう。そうですな。願わくばもう一度生まれ変わりとうございます。自分のために生きると決めている。故に英雄になど興味はない。歯応えのある強い敵と戦いますように。願い事ハイランドを見たら叶うらしいよ。弾けろ。バカ。あなたルームアーティファクトもないのに魔石銃に向かおうなんて自
<laughs> you guys are being real fucking generous today, man. Thank you so much. Oh, that's the Uncharted theme. That's that's it. That's it. I don't know why. Why? My dude's dead. Yo, he dead. しかしセレナ、お前に似て本当に可愛い女の子だ。女の子だと。Oh, yo. A lot of things being stored in boobs this season, man. <laughs> A lot of things being stored in boobs this season. What can I say? Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got we got some good junk food going on, guys. I ain't gonna lie. This 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 is looking like this is looking like some, like some good junk food, man. <laughs> Aside from the CG. Aside from the CG. Let's 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 ignore that. Let's ignore that. I was gonna say animation looks above average. Aside from the CG, aside from the CG, the animation looks above average, especially for any, especially for a fantasy. Music kind of bangs? M m music kind of a jam? Just, just, just me? Just me? Is mu music kind of, a, kind of jamming right now? Uh, I will say, guys, my fellow Fate fans, I think we found the goddess that, uh, <laughs> I think we found the goddess that is in charge of the entire Fate universe. Because what do we have here? is a hero, is a historic hero of this world. And what does he want to do? He just wants to get reborn. And the goddess is like, <laughs> Bet, how about you get reborn as a girl? We, f we found her, guys. We found her. <laughs> but... <clears throat> we found the root of Akasha. Uh... Who's making this studio comment? Let me see what else they've done. <laughs> ow! Ow! Okay! Okay! That's where I got those vibes from! <laughs> okay. So. So, okay, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was watching the trailer, and I was just like... Uh, this looks like, this looks like the most generic action fantasy show um, that doesn't stand out much a lot from any other fantasy show out there that airs in every season. Um, three episode rule minimum. <laughs> this is, uh, this, this is just, I don't know, something about that trailer. The animation looks enjoyable. It just looks like an enjoyable show. I'm, it, this... This looks like I'm gonna give this three episodes. I don't know. I I felt like there was there's nothing I could say about this to make it stand out at all. But I don't know why. I watched the trailer. I got some good vibes from there. This this one's a three episode for me. You know you want to watch it all. I I <laughs> yo don't call me out like that, man. Don't call don't call me out, man. Don't call me out like that, okay? I can't put this as a must must watch, all right? <laughs> Rent an isekai. <laughs> <clears throat> fun things are fun. Yeah, um... Is there anything else I can say about this? Chat, was there anything else about that trailer that stood out? 
at all. I'm trying to think. <laughs> was, 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 was there anything? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something, man. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. Kaching. Oh yeah, Kaching. You know, you know, guys. You know, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm a proper critique. Uh, I'm a, I'm a proper critic. Okay. I don't watch bad stuff. I only watch stuff that is worth my time. But as a Kaching main, you know, that is the sole reason why I want to watch this. There is no other reason. No other reason, guys. Uh, this is just me showing my respect to my main in Genshin. And that's it. There's no other reason. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this one three episodes. Moving on. To... Flaglia... Uh, Flaglia Natsuyasumi no Monogatari. It's a summer holiday story? A summer holiday story? What's, uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, a mixed media project spanning anime and a musical. Ooh, ooh, okay, a musical. The anime side of the project is set in the present day, while the musicals is set in the Middle Ages era. What? What? So let's have a look at the trailer for this. That's, that is a weird ass fucking concept. Oh my god. Yo, the quality. Yo, someone murdered the quality of this audio, man. Can you can you fucking hear this? <laughs> Yo, what did they do to the audio, man? My boy. What is this? What what is this like 10-bit audio? What is going on? That was it. That was it. Is that it? That was it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I was I was actually impressed, right? I was actually impressed at how much thought they put into this. Uh because they said that the musical was set in the Middle Ages era. Um and they really they really were able to convey that way. Uh, they were they were they were able to convey that really well because that audio quality felt like it was from the Middle Ages. So I am going to give this one a skip, uh, even even from uh, the trailer didn't show me much, but it doesn't seem like that my kind of show anyway. I'm more intrigued at the concept of having an anime and a musical that both take place in different time periods. That to me, that actually sounds pretty damn interesting, but doesn't really seem like my kind of show. If you skip this, Malin will murder you, Gant. <laughs> uh, it's, I'll, I'll, Ma Malin can try and murder me. Mal Malin can try. You better not be fucking lurking in my chat right now, Malin. I swear to God. I swear. Oh my God. So how long? How long is this? How fucking long? What is this? Did they give the entire first chapter of a light novel in the synopsis? What the fuck is this? All right. The <laughs> God. I just want to say, I just want to say, guys, what the fuck? Okay, guys, what the fuck is up? With okay. Light novel titles, the synopsis, pretty damn short. Uh, a show called High Cards. We have a light novel in the synopsis. What the fuck, man? Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if Mao has a High Card Mao. Maybe the synopsis is shorter on Mao. Even though I hate using this. No, it's it's not. <laughs> God fucking damn it. 
<laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> okay. Guys, alright. Okay, guys, are we ready for chapter one of the light novel? Okay, firstly, this is source other, so I don't even know what the sources are. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> After discovering that his orphanage was on the brink of collapse, I'm going to say that again. After discovering that his orphanage was on the brink of closing due to financial stress, Finn, who was living freely on the streets, sets out for a casino with the aim of making a fortune. Uh oh, this is uh, that's that's not a that's not a good start. This is that's not what humans do. That's uh, <laughs> Finn, my guy. Finn, you need you need to stop, Finn. <laughs> You're already fucked up. However, nothing could have prepared Finn for the nightmare that was awaiting him. Bro, anyone could have told you that. Go, going to the casino is always bad news, man. <clears throat> Once there, Finn encounters a car chase and a bloody shootout caused by a man's lucky card. Finn will eventually learn what the shootout was about. The world order can be controlled by a set of 52 ty- 52 playing cards with the power to bestow different superhuman powers and abilities to one to the ones that possess possess them with these cards people can access the hidden power of the body that can be found within themselves what the fuck am i reading there is a secret group of players called high cards who have been directed uh, who have been directly ordered by the King of Forland to collect the cards that have been scattered throughout the kingdom while moonlighting as employees of the luxury car maker Pin Pinoch 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 Pinochle Pinochle <laughs> Pinochle <laughs> Scouted to be the group's fifth member, Finn soon joins the players on a dangerous mission to find these cards. However, who's who? The rival car maker, obsessed with defeating Pinochle, uh, <laughs> and the Klongdikes, <laughs> and the Klongdikes. <laughs> I just <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> what what am I reading? <laughs> <laughs> I just I can't. This sounds so stupid. This <laughs> is um, who's who? The rival car maker obsessed with defeating. De who's who? The rival car maker obsessed with defeating Pinochle and the Klondikes. The infamous the infamous mafia family stands in the way of the gang. A frenzied battle among these cards obsessed players, fueled by justice, desires, and revenge is about to begin. Um, okay. What the fuck did I just read? What the actual fuck did I just read? I, I have, um, no fucking clue what I just read. What, what I just read sounds like the setup to a JoJo chapter. It, it makes no fucking sense at all but you know what you know what kind of sounds like fun kind of sounds like fun let's let's have a look at the trailer we have two trailers for this oh thank god we got subtitles <laughs> we got subtitles <laughs> Yo, money hunger isn't Jozu enough to tell what the fuck is going on with this show. My English isn't Jozu enough to tell what the fuck is going on with that synopsis, man. My guy looked at Blackjack and was like, you know what? We can make this more interesting. Guys, we can make this more interesting. Let's have a look at the second trailer. Wait, is this America? Nope, made up land.
こちらはエクスプレイングカードと呼ばれるものですその力が使えるのはカードに選ばれたもののみポーランドの歴史の陰で我々ピノクルはカードを守る<笑> oh, it, it in Japan, go fucking guns, guys. It definitely in Japan もう何の心配もいらないよ俺じゃんじゃん稼ぐからさそのカードさうちのボスも待ってんだよね<笑>イゲトの無駄ですよ私 wait, wait, wait. Was, that, was that a consistent sh- That was either a really good cut or my guy just fucking murdered a helicopter with a handgun. He fucking exploded that helicopter, man. <laughs> I think that was just a really good cut. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say this now. I'll say this now. We've seen. Guys, guys, guys. We've seen, we've seen like our etchy anime. With our fantasy, like with our skimpy fantasy outfits and stuff like that, you know. But I'm gonna say, <laughs> the era of girls, in, of girls in suits has started. I'm gonna say it now. Woo! So th- there's, just, there's just fucking something about seeing a girl in a fucking suit that just go. You, you, don't, you don't need to show me any skin, man. I am already bricked up, man. I am already fucking bricked up. There's just... Guys, get, get, you, you see these skimpy outfits? Get, the, get that shit away from me. Get that shit away from me. Give me a girl in a fucking suit, man. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Today! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Bang a song, bang a song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the start of this song. Woo! Looks like good animation as well. Fuck that. Alright, who who is animating this? Who I I need I need to find out more about this show. Studio Hibari? Ah oh, they have not done they've not done a lot. What is up with the all these like unknown studios coming out now? What the fuck are these shows? Oh, they did Classroom with Elite Season 2. Um, okay. That looked fun as fuck. I have no idea what was going on, but that looked hella fun. That looked like so much fun.、Uh, I don't know if this is an anime original or something else, because the source says other, and I don't know what that means.、Uh, that looked hella fun. It looked like absolute chaos, and I fucking thrive on that. I fucking live for that. I. Um, it could end up just being a nothing show. As, I don't think it's going to be a nothing show. It could just end up being a good ish show. I'm going to give this one three episodes at least. I don't think, from what I can see, let me see if there's any notable staff members. Because if there's some notable staff members, I might bump this up to a must watch. But, oh, it's from the creator of Kakiguri? It's from the creator of Kakiguri? Okay. Director. Yeah, okay. He's directed some Kakiguri spin offs. Okay. Okay. This one. This, this one's going to be a three episode for me. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like chaos. Will it be any more than that? I don't know yet. But I'm going to give it three episodes to find out. That is something. This is something I'm going to pay a lot of attention to because I have never heard of this franchise before. <clears throat> 
Is, is this a prank of 91 days? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised people still remember 91 days. <gasps> he really likes cards, huh? No, he just... He really likes casinos and gamblings. It's a... <laughs> it's American Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> man. Yu-Gi-Oh wishes it looked this cool, man. Come on, let's let us be real. Let's be real for an honest man. Let's be real. Let's be real for a second, man. <sighs> Just an average day in Vegas. Alright, moving on to Hikari Hikari no. Outside the magical barriers lies a world overrun by fiery beasts known as flame demons, and the only ones who can protect humanity are the fire hunters. In the dark woods where the beasts roam is Tok is Toko, a young villager, uh, a, yeah, a young villager is rescued from attack by one of the skilled trackers, Kyoshi. But their meeting was no accident, and a new destiny begins. Didn't really, uh, didn't, someone in chat just said, didn't we read this earlier? I, uh, I, I swear to God, I was reading it and I was just like, I, I think I did just read this earlier. Uh, yeah, the, the synopsis didn't sound great. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the trailer. Is this the trailer? <laughs> I like how the company's called Wow Wow. Wow, wow! Sugoi desune, wow! Okay, okay. I thought that was a demon for a second, that... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bro, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Yo, that you have a better be possessed by a demon, man. Yo, he's about to fuck shit up, man. Okay. Well, I... I'm fucking glad we watched the trailer because that actually looked really, really good. This looks like a way more mature story. Um, kind of getting like, kind of getting like Mushishi vibes, but just less chill. Um, something seems like something that just explores very supernatural stories in kind of like a nice foresty setting. Who is working on this? Who's Studio MD? Shinsekai Yuri. Oh shit! I completely forgot about Shinsekai Yuri, but yeah, that totally gave me Shinsekai Yuri vibes. Which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Okay, so they've worked on a few things. Nothing that blows me away, this studio. I have not seen that fake Grand Order movie, so I can't judge. Um... <clears throat> Fully coolly progressive. That was not mind blowing. That was uh, don't don't mistake that for the original Fully Coolie. They've done some decent shows. They nothing that's absolutely blown me away. How did Platinum End not blow you away? <laughs> that blew me away in a different way. Uh, who is the staff members? Oh oh, is that why she put a shoe hour in? <laughs> What a, what a what a what a profile picture! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Mamoru Oshii is a serious. Mamoru Oshii did the writing for this. He did the fucking writing for this. No fucking way. No fucking way. Okay. Okay. This is this is a uh, this is this is now turned into a must watch. Okay. What's the director done? Who? People asking who? Uh, it's the guy who made the original Ghost in the Shell. Okay. This? Okay. I was, gonna, I was gonna say. From looking at the staff members, um, it looks like... <clears throat> it looks like this is, uh... This is an anime made by a lot of veteran staff members in the anime industry. It's- and I'm not gonna lie, 
I completely felt those vibes watching the trailer because watching the trailer felt gave me the same feeling of watching, you know, like watching a classic anime back in back in the 90s and stuff like that. It's it gave me a very, very old, mature kind of vibe, something you don't feel in a lot of modern animes. <laughs> why, why are you going to do them like that? <laughs> Guys, I, I just named off some <laughs> I just named off some of the most veteran staff members made in the anime industry. Some people that helped build the anime industry to what it was made today. Some guy in chat. So it's made by boomers. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, okay? I'm not gonna call you wrong. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. <laughs> but my guy, come on. <laughs> I'm going to try and give respect where respect is due. So this is made by some amazing boomers, guys, guys Zoomers, Zoomers. They, they are like highly, highly respected boomers. Okay, I'm just, I just, d does that make sense? Does that, Garn is a boomer. Okay, uh, mods, that's, ban, ban, ban that guy, mods, ban. Um, <laughs> they are, they, they are, okay. How can I say this? This is a show made by epic boomers, okay? There, there, that's, that's it, that's it. Does that make sense? Does, does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> this, uh... <clears throat> this... I'm gonna give this one three episodes. I'm only gonna give this one three episodes just because I am not sure about the animation studio. Um, they haven't done, like I said, anything that is truly, truly amazing. The staff members, though, have me very, very excited. So it is going to be at least, at least three episodes. Like the previous one, I'm going to keep my eyes very, very closely on this one. Uh, and the source is... <laughs> do you know, do you know how, do you know how this is, do you know how this is a boomer anime? I'm just going to play into that. Do you know, guys, do you know the biggest indicator that this is a boomer anime? Guys, do you know what the source for this is? It's not, a, it's not a light novel. It is just a novel novel, okay? And if you've never heard of a novel novel, imagine a light novel, but just heavier, okay? I, I, I know some of you may be very, very scared of words, but imagine the amount of words that is contained in a light novel, and then just extrapolate that. And just zoomers, zoomers, don't, 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 don't get scared. Don't get scared. Okay, okay. It's it's nothing to be. It's just words. It's just words. Okay. It's just it's just a lot of words. And this thing is a piece of media that people used to consume. Um, and this was like a little bit uh, before the invention. <laughs> <laughs> this was a little bit before the invention of Minecraft, so it's 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 before it's like pre Minecraft era. No, that's 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 what that's kind of what we're talking about, guys. All right, moving on. Moving on to the next one. This this, <laughs> this looks generic as fuck. Oh god, look look at this, <laughs> look at this, look at this. Some, sometimes you can just tell someone looks generic as hell. <clears throat> uh, just from the poster. Uh, no majutsu shi ga sekai wo suburu. The Arnold Academy of Magic is a school for the elite, and Ray White, what a fucking name, and Ray White is just your ordinary guy. In fact, he doesn't seem particularly skilled with magic at all, and is a bit of a klutz, which is why he has nothing to do with the rumor that one of the great magicians, the Ice Blade Sorcerer, is a member of the incoming class. Alright? <laughs> Kek W, hilarity ensues. You know, chaos ensues, am I right? Okay. You know what? I was going to say skip, but the music has convinced me to give this one episode. Does this look like generic trash? Yes. Does this look like even enjoyable? Does this look like even enjoyable generic trash? No. But... The music kind of slapped. 
and that's that's enough that's enough for me that's enough for me I'll, I'll i'll give it i'll give it one episode just to see if the music keeps banging because i asked can a can good music carry a show <clears throat> and to me if the music's good it can make my it can turn a five out of ten to uh it can turn a five out of ten show into like a seven out of ten show if the music's really fucking good um I can't, I, can't, I can't really like the music in the trade, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the music is by Kevin, yo, insta-watch, insta-watch. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can say about this show? No. You know what? It's been a while since we've had a I Magic Academy said, show. Master, to protect everyone I have to go all out, or something. Did he, uh, did he, did he say that? I, I totally missed that, actually. <laughs> I was too focused on the music. <laughs> Uh, it's, like, I, I remember when Magic Academy shows, like, took over, and this looks like a completely generic Magic Academy show, right down to the character designs. I mean, the fiery redhead and the cool-haired, blue-haired, like, girl as, like, the two main love interests, that, that's just literally lifted out of every fucking Magic Academy show. You know what? If you're gonna give me a fucking Magic Academy show with this kind of, with these kind of characters, at least put a Giga Chad as the main character, like my boy, Anos, you know? At least, that's, like, the bare minimum you need to do. This boy? This boy? He doesn't even look like a beta. He doesn't even look, like... Kirito's a fucking beta, and he looks more beta than Kirito, man. Get that fuck, get that shit out of here. <laughs> Alright, next. Moving on to the second season of Nagatoro. Now, what more do I need to say about this? Let's have a look at the trailer. Because, yes, I'm going to be watching this. Hell yeah, boys, hell yeah. We got any Nagatoro fans in chat? Any Nagatoro fans in chat? Yo, don't worry guys, don't worry. I'm one of you guys. I'm fucking one of you. <laughs> Yo, why are you guys saying no? Why are you guys saying no? Yeah. <clears throat> so Nagatoro is the latest in this fucking teasing craze that anime um, has gone through. And I, I'm like, Nagatoro is the only one that I actually like. It's, I'm, I'm saying. You know, like, I just said, can a show be sold purely on the soundtrack? And Nagatoro asks, can a show be sold purely on smug energy? Yes, I fucking adore Nagatoro, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna be watching season two. I really, really enjoyed season one. Uh, and you know what, you know what? Anyone who watches Nagatoro, you know, you know, guys, you know, it's uh, the whole, the whole teasing thing, the whole toxic relationship. That's just a red herring. That's just a red herring, right? Right. Because what we're here for with Nagatoro is the wholesomeness. Nagatoro is a wholesome show. It's a wholesome show. Guys, please. Some, guys, some, someone's got, someone's got my back, right? Come on, guys, guys, guys. Get, someone, someone has to have my back on this. Stop saying copium. This is not fucking copium. Nagatoro is a wholesome show. And I will die on a hill telling you guys that it is a wholesome show, okay? It's wholesome. It's fucking wholesome. We were... We were... All of us Nagatoro fans. All of us fucking Nagatoro fans. We were lured in by the smug. But we so, we got sold on the smile. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. I, re I really enjoy Nagatoro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, one thing I'm wondering is, is season two going to show, uh, going to show more of, like, the wholesome sides that happen within their relationships? Because season one ended, I believe, on the art arc, and some of, like, some of, the, like, the latest chapters, some, some of the late, some of the latest chapters were actually really fucking wholesome. Like, that, one thing I really like about Nagatoro is that their relationship actually, uh, their relationship actually develops as the series goes on. And it's not just all about teasing, but they actually, like, help out and look out for each other. Um, and that includes the main character as well. And that really fucking surprised me. So, 
I really hope that that gets animated. Uh, we get to that point in the anime. Um, rent a girlfriend? No, don't, don't, no, no. We 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 ain't going there, man. We I we ain't starting this, man. I could make an entire fucking two hour rant on rent a girlfriend. We we ain't going. We ain't going there, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, gen genuinely though, I I I, th I think Nagatoro is a really really good show. Uh, it looks she like the first episode. They she was uh, there's there's no other way to say it other than she was just a this this was just straight up bullying. It wasn't even cute bullying. Like uh, Nagatoro early on was just was just straight up a dick. <laughs> she was kind of a dick. <laughs> And some people like that, but that's not why I started watching Nagatoro. Trust me, that's that's not why I started watching Nagatoro. Uh, it gets it gets wholesome. It gets it, it gets more and more wholesome the more that uh, the more that the story progresses. Some people some people started watching Nagatoro because of that. I'm just saying I didn't. You guys you guys know how I am. I I would I would never watch a show because of that. I don't condone bullying. <laughs> Moving on to... Oh, oh, I, f I feel a bit of culture. I feel a bit of culture with, uh, with this. I feel a bit of, feel a bit of culture with this <laughs> already. <clears throat> Inu ni natara suki no ittu no hiro wa wareta. Hiro wareta. Does this got something to do with a dog? What? <clears throat> they say every dog has his day. That's especially true for our protagonist, who was just turned into a dog and now lives un- <laughs> Where is this going? Where, where is this going? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> That's especially true for our protagonist. He just turned into a dog and now lives every day Hi, under the care. Here to call out G Cage for being a great person. Oh, no Love worries, you, man. Bud. No worries, man. Um, and now lives every day under the care of his crush, Inukai-san. She happily dotes on her new companion, and while he wants to return to human form, uh, there's something von there's something wonderful about being cared for by the person he loves. <laughs> Enjoy life through the eyes of a dog in my life, Inuka-san's dog. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <gasps> we got a Denji simulator right here, guys. <gasps> right here, guys. We got, we got a Denji simulator right here. <laughs> I need to see the fucking trailer for this. <laughs> How many trailers have we got? We got two trailers. All right, no one bark in chat. No, stop. The Markima's not on screen. Can we please stop barking in chat? Guys, Chainsaw Man guys, please stop being horny for one fucking second. Stop fucking woofing. We are respectable. Guys, this is... I'm trying to cultivate a respectable community. I am trying to cultivate a respectable community where anyone can join in. Guys, anyone can join in, guys. Do we not want to be respected? Men out there, do we not want to be respected? That's why I'm not streaming Genshin, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's just get to this. Oh my god! He's actually a dog! <laughs> I can't! I can't! They did a beer me of a dog! <laughs> they actually did it! The fucking mad lads! They fucking did it! They fucking did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, his name's Blotched her as well. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the dog looks so cute as well. The dog looks so fucking cute. What? <laughs> this is this is this is gonna this is gonna end so badly. Ah. Ah. ちょっと待っててね。なんで同級生の彼女が俺を抱きかかえて。じゃあ、行こっか。一緒にお風呂なんて羨ましい。おお、ノ。何やってるんだ、犬たち。俺の目の前にいるのに。ブロ、ブロ
table? I, I've only seen this in anime. Like, I can't imagine the edge of a table would feel that great. It feels like it's just a sharp object. It's like, why wouldn't you just go that do sounds, that? That sounds a nice way to fucking bruise yourself. Yeah, you I feel know? like that's like, why wouldn't you just... I don't know, that, that just seems like that would not be... <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine just like, oh, that's... Because it's literally just like a sharp edge. <laughs> Ew. It's only anime and fucking Code Geass. No, now it's two. Now it's two places. Now it's two places. Kokia. Okay, was that it? <laughs> that was it. I haven't finished the trailer yet. God damn. Okay. I just need to ask those two questions. Okay. Chat, guys, has that you gone too far? Has have, have have we gone too far? Have is is there any is there any turning back? Uh, are, are we are we able to turn back? <laughs> Can can we reset everything? Can we just reset animate at the beginning, please? Ah, oh, what is this? Why would someone make this? No, why? Why are we doing this? How have we? How have we gone to a point? How has humanity gone to a point where we're now role playing as a dog? Looking at girls' panties. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen. How did how did how did humanity get to this point? What, what was the decisions that led up to this? <laughs> Just <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> oh um Okay. <laughs> All right. Before before I say anything, who's going to be watching this? Who who's going to be watching this? Who is who's who? Who? <sighs> My boys. My boys. <laughs> Boys, we we in this together, okay? We in we in this together, right? Are we in this together. Um I will happily seek therapy with all of you guys. Uh because I think we're gonna need it. Because I'm gonna get this three episodes. <laughs> I just I my ma they they say curiosity killed the cat. Nah, curiosity killed the fucking dog, man. I, I I need to see, I need to see this man I, I I need to see this but also this is one of the most cursed things I've seen in my life you know people 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 think oh you know uh, people think oh redo a hero that's uh, redo of a healer that's pretty cursed no 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 um getting getting a dog involved in your edgy that to me is more fucking cursed man we don't we don't touch the dogs man. Leave the dogs out of this. Leave the fucking dogs out of this, man. They're too pure for this world. And I... <clears throat> um, I will say, like, do you know, do you know what the saddest thing? Do you know, do you know what the? <laughs> do, do you know what the? Do you know, do you know what the saddest thing about all of this is? About this, this show is about this manga, about this concept. This con this concept this <laughs> this concept just proves <laughs> this concept proves that uh, a dog is better with girls than most weebs are <laughs> because there, <laughs> there's no there's no way <laughs> there's no way there's no way people would get this much attention, man. <laughs> 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 it's okay guys, we'll we'll all go to therapy together, man. <laughs> Alright, three episodes for this one. I need to see what the fuck this is about. Uh they say the line between genius and craziness is uh <laughs> they say the line between genius and crazy is uh, very thin, and I feel like whoever made this is a fucking Pro balance beamer. We 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 are we are treading on that line right now, man. 
<laughs> All right. Moving on. Two. Hey, another isekai, guys. Another another isekai. I need. I know. Actually, I need. I need a. I need a quick toilet break after that. I need. A, I need to chill out for a bit. This is a wholesome show. Don't let the. Where was I? All right, guys, we are back. <clears throat> we are back with Isekai Non Bidinoka. 
After Hikari, uh, sorry, after Hiraku dies of a serious illness, God brings him back to life, gives his health, uh, gives his health and youth back, and sends him to a fantasy world of his choice in order to enjoy his second shot. God bestows upon him the Oma. <laughs> okay. I was, I was wondering, that, that didn't look like a complete sentence. God bestows upon him the almighty farming tool. Watch as Hiraku digs, chops, and plows in another fantasy world in this laid back farming fantasy. Yo! Yo, is this the fucking Stardew Valley isekai we were waiting for, Sydney? Fuck yeah, man! <laughs> okay, there was a farming isekai this last season. Uh, which is this season right now, uh, there was a farming isekai, and I was disappointed that it wasn't just a purely farming isekai. But is this going to be Stardew Valley? Is it going to be something like that? Uh, we, we, we all, we, we, we need a fucking Harvest Moon isekai. So let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look at this. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What? <laughs> Sydney? Oh, yeah. Um, are you, uh, are you allowed to marry more than one person in Stardew Valley? If you do mods, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look how many fucking girls this farmer has. I've, I've read this manga! Ain't no fucking way, man! It's not about farming. It's not about farming? It's about the girls he gets with. Is, are, you, are you serious? Oh, farming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farming? Oh, it's, so, not, it's, it's not the Stardew Valley anime. I'm so, I'm so fucking disappointed. Yeah. Why Why is it that they can't just do a fucking farming? I don't know farming? why they made an ant. This is actually a really shitty series. What? <laughs> I said it. You said it just... <laughs> there was a comment that said the manga is good and then Ugh. as soon as that came out, you're like, this is a shitty series. It is a <laughs> shitty series. I mean, it's literally just about a guy banging a bunch of other, like, worldly... while well, he has a farm. Like, that's... You know, maybe that's the Stardew Valley experience that I want. Where's that mod, actually? Shut the fuck <laughs> send me, up. Send me that mod. I'll play it if I can get that mod. Wow. All right, so we ain't Stardew Valley. This is the Stardew Valley mod that we are playing, that we're watching right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, considering considering what uh, chat and uh, Sydney has said. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little disappointed that this isn't just a straight up farming anime. I'll give it one episode. I'll give it one episode just to see what it's all about, you know, because may, 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 maybe they put a little bit more farming in there. I, I could go with a nice, wholesome, like farming slice of life. Um, but from what it seems like, <clears throat> from, what it se from what it seems like, you know, the god in this world giving him the tool to plow properly. He he wasn't fucking lying, man. Yo, this this guy ain't a god of farming. He's a god of fucking plowing, man. I'll give it one episode to see where it goes. Oh, this is uh Bofordy, right? Bofordy season two. I don't need to, uh this is uh this is the true Rising of the Shield Hero. We don't talk about the other Rising of the Shield Hero, especially the second season of that. We don't, we don't talk about that. You know, Bow Bo Free is now the Shield Hero. I like Bow Free. I, I, I really like this. This is, let's just have a watch the trailer. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I just wanna watch the trailer. Cause I enjoyed it. I swear to god if anyone in chat says bow through these nuts you can get the fuck out you <laughs> yeah that, that's a that's a nice way to get banned right there right mods right <laughs> Ah, 
お互い頑張ろうどっちがしぶといか比べ合いたいこうぜ俺たちはクリアしてもらうためのゲームを作ってるのさ大変だったけど Damn, this looks like it has way more action than the first season. Is it me? Is it me? Has the animation improved? This, this,、uh, did both. Did both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I can't not think about it now. Did Bofuri go this hard in the first season? I don't I don't think he went this hard in the first season, right? This this isn't just my imagination. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Yo! <laughs> When did she get a fucking neck? All right. I got through like the majority of season one. Looks like I gotta fucking catch up, man, because that. That looks like. Season two looks like it's going hard, man. I enjoyed season one. Um, and I was like, you know, I, 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 I watched like. I watched, like, I think more than six episodes. So I was like, I'll finish it eventually and never go back to it. Looks like I gotta go fucking back to it because this, that, that looks like it went hard. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, if you watch, um, if you watch Bofuri, it's, uh, it's, it's now, it's now the real Shield Hero. It's better than Shield Hero now <laughs> from what, from what it looks like, especially with the disaster of Shield Hero Season 2, which, uh, Did was not good at all. So, yeah, highly recommend it. I won't spend too much in it because it's the second season. So, moving on. <clears throat> how, how many? We're, we're streaming for two hours and 20 minutes. How many do we have left? Oh my god. Is this going to be a. Oh my god. Oh my god. It keeps going. It keeps going. We haven't even got to halfway. Oh man. I might have to split this up into two streams. Holy shit. This... Why, why is there so much anime? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Kaikoku Sareta Ankoku Heishi Sanju Dai no Slow Na Second Life. Um, the story centers. Let me see this. The story seconds on Dariel. Dariel. So, is this another isekai? Yeah, we got another isekai. The story centers on Dario, a soldier of、uh, a soldier in the Dark Lord's army who cannot use magic. Instead, he wields his intellect and initiative as an assistant to one of the Dark Lord's most trusted captains. But when the captain is suddenly replaced, Dario also loses his privileged position and is fired. In disappointment, he retires in a village of humans. Getting a new start at life by using his abilities to accept requests for help. Okay,、uh, before I judge this, let's,、uh, let's have a look at the trailer. Kaiko, this guy? So, the Maho no Sky Nai Mazokuna do his yo nai. Oh, 
人間族の村敵地の真っ只中へえ There's so much boober this season Why is there so much boober this season? My eyes man My eyes They can't マリーカと言いますダリエルさんには冒険者をやっていただきたい務まんのかよこんなおっさんにそのハンマー鉄製ですよね魔族とバレたら殺される俺を必要としてくれる場所があるならちゃんと That guy's not even pretend He's not even trying guys He ain't even trying He They're the He ain't even trying, man. Yo. He don't even. He, we don't need a fucking eye tracker anymore, man. Yo, he's. She is staring right at you, man. She is staring right at you. My eyes are up here, man. My eyes are up here. No. He's aimbotting right to the fucking titties, man. This is the same one. Was that it? Okay, same one. No way. That's a. Uh... <laughs> That's a different anime. Okay, no, I read that wrong. <clears throat> Whoopsie. I saw I saw PV2 and I thought this one was like PV2. Okay, that was the only one. Um Um Yeah, it looks shit. <laughs> that that uh that looked bad. Uh that looks I mean, I'm just you know, you know what? You know what, anime? You're, you're competing against 54 other anime this season. Is a boob shot gonna sell me on an anime anymore? No. We've already seen like 10 million other boob shots in this first third of this Annie chart so far. This one's going to be a skip for me. It doesn't even sound like... It, it, like the uh, the premise doesn't even sound interesting in itself. And the trailer was not interesting at all uh we got another second season uh i have not heard of this one so we're gonna skip this one as well we're gonna skip this one as well i've not even i've there's so many second and third and fourth seasons this one this uh this season all right <clears throat> moving on to cordy zok let me let me say this again. Kori Zokse Danshi Tokuna Doryo Joshi. The setting is a workplace where a snowy white romance blows in the uh, where a snowy white romance blows in like a wizard, like a wizard, like a blizzard. Himori is a descendant of Yuki owners living in modern times and a newbie office worker. When he gets emotionally overwhelmed, he, he ends up causing blizzards or starts building snowmans and igloos. Whenever his secret romantic feelings for his unique yet kind co-workers Fuyutsuki intensifies, he sometimes ends up freezing those around him. Then there's Fuyutsuki. Everyone always sees her as the cool type, but Fuyutsuki is actually uh, is actually also pretty curious about her mysterious co- uh, about her mysterious co-worker. Their relationship continues to gradually evolve daily- uh, their relationship continues to evolve- their relationship continues to gradually evolve daily through work and work and- through work and work events? Through work events. Eventually, they start to spend time with each other outside of work, but they're both a bit awkward when it comes to love, so they can't, so they just can't seem to get closer. A heartwarming workplace fantasy rom com starring, uh, starring a seemingly cool couple is about to begin. I don't think the uh I don't think the synopsis needed to be that long. That seemed to be like a very drawn out synopsis. It's a fantasy workplace rom-com. Okay, let's just keep it at that. Let's just keep it at that. 
Uh, let's have a look at the trailer. The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague official trailer. All right. キムロ君。うん。これ良かったらどうぞ。冬月さん。これは。ひげです。ひげ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒゲ。ヒ
It's okay to be wrong. It's okay. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong sometimes, guys. It's okay to be wrong. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. But uh, do I think Kudarays is better than Cinderays? No, no. It they're they're just not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you if if you want to date like, I mean, just look at Ray. Just look at Ray. You know what? Well, how is it dating Ray? You have great conversation. It's like, oh, how are you, how how are you doing, Ray? Yeah, you, you had a good day. Well, so, so, sounds good. Sound oh. That's good, good talk. Good talk. Good talk, guys. Good talk. <laughs> God enjoys some spice in his life. Yeah, you know how it is, man. You know how it is. <sighs> look, basic, basically, guys, basically, look. Cinderays are better because I don't like dating Oblivion NPCs, okay? Moving on to... Uh... <clears throat> Kuba wa mob wo yaru sanai. Uh, Junta Shiriaishi has one goal to experience youth to the fullest, but this is easier said than done. Junta is so socially invisible that people at school would swear he skipped class even when he's sitting right behind them. Everything changes when Junta meets Nagisa Kubo. She's the she's the only type uh she's the only person who plays she's the only person who pays Junta any attention and her constant teasing is sure to turn Junta quiet uh Junta's quiet life upside down because Kubo won't let him be invisible. Is this another teasing anime? We're going to have two more we're going to have another teasing anime? This is going to be another one. We back on that teasing meta? All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, let's see how hard this one goes. Yo, if this is gonna be a beta Nagatoro, I'm leaving, man. I'm fucking leaving. All right, we got we got the subs for you guys. ねえ、白石君ってさ、どのくらいみんなに気づかれないのかな。それなのに、久保さんだけは僕を見つける。おはよう、白石君。白石君の敵じゃなくて、白石君の広い。Yo, something something's always sus when a girl is permanently blushing. My girl. <laughs> Yo, why, why, why are you permanently blushing, my girl? What's going on? What's going on here, man? My girl's permanently bricked up, man. What? Is she blushing in every single fucking frame? <laughs> Yo, that's that's sus, man. That's sus. Yo, Malin be like, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> sorry to do you like that, Malin. <laughs> yo, let me let me. Yo, you're sweating a lot. Let me wipe that sweat off, man. Let me wipe that sweat. Hold on, let me go. To, I'm just. I just need you to go to the toilet quickly. <sighs> <sighs> it's really weird, right? It's really weird, because I look at that trailer... <clears throat> I look at that trailer, and it's got, like, such nice, wholesome vibes and everything like that. And then every so often, the, the main girl will just have this fucking yandere look about her. And I don't know if there's something more going on, because it's, uh... I don't, I don't know if there's something more going on. Because the trailer itself gave off just very nice, pure, wholesome vibes. Uh, I'm going to give this one... The, okay, here's the problem. The trailer, didn't, the trailer didn't really show me much. It just... it showed us a glimpse into everything. So I'll give this an episode to see what it's all about. Maybe even three. Um, if the first episode really impresses me, then I'll give it three episodes. Uh, if it seems just very boring and vanilla, I'll, I'll, I'll just, it'll just stay on one episode. But, moving on. Maylin, please stop sniffing sweat. 
Uh, we have... Oh, I remember this one. This is Inspector, right? Do we want to watch the trailer for this? I'm like, I'm like on, I'm like... On the fence about this. Do we want to watch the trailer for this? All right, I see more no's than yeses, so I'm just gonna skip this one. I honestly did not finish Inspector. It just seemed, it just seemed okay. It just seemed okay. Uh, it's good though. It's it was it was okay. It was it was it was it was it was okay. It was like trying really really hard to be monogatari. That's kind of what I remember about it. And it just wasn't as impressive as some other shows in that same vibe. <clears throat> so it was it was a solid show. I'm gonna skip it though. I'm probably not gonna watch season two, nor am I gonna watch season two of this. I have not even heard of this show. Uh, I think I remember this show actually, but I didn't watch the first season of this, so I'm gonna skip this one. And I'm gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip this one as well. I have not seen this one. I am not gonna skip this one, though. I am not gonna skip this one. Yo! Yo, we're getting a second season of my boy, the biggest Giga Chad. Hell fucking yes. Anos Voldigoat has returned. I am so excited for this. Let's go! The biggest Giga Chad of Isekai has returned. He's come back to take his crown. Anos saw all these Isekai that aired last year. He saw all of the betas. He saw all of the herbivores. And he was like, you know what? Let me show you what a real protagonist is. I'm, I'm coming back to take back my throne, man. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Zyquithan, for the five gift subs. All right, let's have a look at this trailer. Let's have a look at my boy, man. <laughs> Who the fuck said Shrek music? What the fuck, man? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Did they change the VA? I, I, I think it sounds a bit different. Did they change the VA? Oh uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch to see if he lives up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what was that? Yo, is that the Deku tree? I, I, did they render this on an N64? Is that the Deku tree from Ocarina of Time? <laughs> I think they fucking rendered this on an N64, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I mean, I just, I just wanted to watch the trailer. You know I'm gonna be watching this, guys. You know I'm gonna be watching this. There wasn't, there wasn't really any debate that I was gonna be watching this. I think, uh, I, I fucking. This is like I said. This is the only Magic High School anime you need because of one reason, and that reason is Anos Voldigode. He is one of the biggest fucking Giga Chads in anime. Definitely the fucking biggest Giga Chad in Isekai. It's just, it's just a nice watch. It's, it's, it's a, it's a nice watch. If you just want to, if you just want to see a Chad be a fucking Chad, watch this show. It's an unapolog, it's just unapologetic with what it is. You know, it's, it just, it just knows what it is, and it plays every, it plays into that, and uh, it, t it turns things up to one hundred. You know, if you've never seen it before, let me tell you how much this guy breaks the tropes, okay? So you saw the love interest, right? You saw there's an ice cold, uh, there's like a cool girl love interest, and then there's a tsundere baba baka, don't like, it's not because I like you fucking baba baka. Yo, he fucking kisses the tsundere in episode two. Episode two, he gets the tsundere, right? That's all I need to say. My, my boy is speed running, man. <laughs> Moving on to Monogatari. Wow. It's the anime is literally just called Story. <laughs> it's, it's just called Story. Not Baki Monogatari, not Nise Monogatari. <laughs> man, let me tell you about a story called Story. <laughs> All 
Oh no, it's it's uh I I fucking read <laughs> I fucking read that wrong. Holy shit, I thought it was mono <laughs> Okay, okay. I thought it was just I thought it said monogatari, it's mono no no <laughs> God fucking damn it. Mononogatari. All right, all right. I just can't read. I just can't read. I just can't fucking read. All right. Mononogatari. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'd, I'd prefer it be called monogatari. Just call it a story, guys. <laughs> um, filled with rage against spirits known as Tsukumonogami, uh, Kunato Hyoma is sent to live with Nagatsuki Botan, uh, Nagatsuki Botan, to help him see a different side. Though both parts, uh, though both are parts of a clan that returns the spirit back to their worlds with divine powers, their experiences with the outerworldly vessels are vastly different. Kunato robbed of a loved one, and uh, Nagatsuki saved by them. Can she get through to him? So. The question is, is this, is this going to be another monogatari? It's, it's, is this monogatari squared because it's mononogatari? Let's find out. Oh, Ludwig's, in, Ludwig's watching right now? Fuck. Hey, Lud. You don't watch anime. You don't watch anime, Lud. Actually, no, you do. You probably watch more anime than my fellow hosts. So respect to you, man. Respect to you. All right, let's have a look at this trailer. Okay. <clears throat> uh, be care if if you're watching this live on stream, be careful because there are some there are some trailers that uh, are very very fucking dangerous that we've seen so far. <laughs> Susan won't be happy. Okay. Okay. No audio? I, I just think it's very, very quiet. I turn it up as loud as it will go, by the way. Well, that didn't show me much. Um, let's hope. Yo, that was fucking loud. <laughs> I'm gonna start that again, uh, <laughs> because <laughs> that was way louder. <laughs> I turned it up because of the previous trailer, and then this is what you do. <laughs> very different energy, very, very different energy. Sainobe. <laughs> Yo, this my guy looks like my guy looks like pre time skip er my guy looks like pre time skip Aaron man. Look at this shit. He looks so much like him. Oh my god. He looks like Aaron if he got a haircut, man. Kunato Hyomada. Nagatsuki Botan, 
Okay, okay, I'm kind of vibing with this more now. I'm, I'm, I'm vibing with this more now. この<笑> あの娘の持つ性質は人間にも我々にも利益を守る。私が well, let's just vibe out to this ending for just a bit, man. Let's just let's just vibe out to this ending for a bit. Oh, oh, that's that's a that's a jam right there. That's a jam. Okay, that was a cicada. Yeah, that was a, that was a fucking loud cicada. By God, <laughs> yo, they turned that shit up to eleven, man. <laughs> Um, who is making this? Bandai Namco Pictures? I've had, you know what? I've been fucking impressed with Bandai Namco Pictures for some of their animation. Uh, I saw Birdie Wing last year and that looked far too good for a golf anime. That looked far too good for a golf anime. Um... And even, uh, Koryu no Karasu. I haven't finished this, but this also looked pretty good. Uh, so... I don't know what else they've done before this, but it seems like they've really upped their game for the animation. Who is working on this? I am curious. Is this an anime original? It is a manga. Okay, let's see who's working on this. Okay, what else have you done? All right. Not too much. Um... Oh, sorry. Original creator. So, okay. <clears throat> um, anyone else? Okay, I don't see any any big names I recognize. <laughs> Okay, so this... Wait, would Sunrise also count as uh, Bandai Namco? I think I, I am not knowledgeable about this, so... Uh, I can't tell you def definitively, but I'm sure they have some kind of affiliation. I think Sunrise... Oh, it's Sunrise renamed? Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Wait, so who's, who's animating Gundam then? If... Uh, I can't remember who's animating Gundam. <laughs> but if Sunrise ain't animating Gundam, then who the fuck's animating Gundam? It is Sunrise? Oh, okay. So I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm I'm going to I'm going to look into this later. But uh from the trailer it seemed interesting enough. Uh it didn't look like fantastic, fantastic animation, but it looked like good animation. Uh, looks, I didn't really get a feel for what the story was going to be about. Uh, seems like kind of maybe Jujutsu Kaisen kind of vibes. I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, should I give this three episodes? Did it do enough? Did it do it enough for three episodes? I'm gonna give this one one episode. It it has caught my interest. I think one episode is gonna be enough for me to decide whether I want to commit to this more. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna commit three episodes right off the bat. I'm gonna give this one one episode. Uh, didn't do. Uh, if if I had some more notable staff members, 
or something more to sell me on the production. I'd probably give this one three episodes, but since it's come from, uh, since it's come from a fairly unknown team, I'm gonna give this one one episode, possibly to three. Feeling skeptical today? I'm feeling skeptical because there are 55 anime this season, and I have to be fucking skeptical. I've only got a, I've, I've only got a certain amount of time with me. <laughs> All right. Moving on to Moipon. One more. After performing in their final middle school judo tournament, Michi and, Sain, uh, Michi and Sane begin high school and walk in on Michi's final opponent fighting to save their new high school judo club. Oh, we got fucking judo. We got judo. Okay, okay. Have we had a judo anime before? I don't- I can't remember any judo anime. Is this cute girls do judo? We- we got cute girls do judo? Actually... Okay, that- that was this. that was the fucking cicada. Alright. Ah! They did the thing! They did the thing! She's moving! She's moving! <laughs> They said it and then they got to credits! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this shit! Look at this epic moment, guys! Look at this epic moment! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> now we pod racing! Now we pod racing! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when she said the, when she said more Ippon and then started Ippon in, that that that's that was when I was sold, man. That was when I was sold. Yo, she Ipponed so fucking hard. I can't I can't. <laughs> I like the scene where she she was like judoing and then the girl's like she's beginning to ip on guys. She's ip oning. Um that uh that like wholesome as fuck. Uh I cute girls do cute things are not normally my thing, so but I'm I'm trying to open my mind. I'm tr I'm trying to open my mind, you know. There there are I found some shows that have appealed to me even though cute girls it, this just seems like a nice wholesome cute girls do judo thing. Uh but I, I, I'm, I'm willing to give them, I'm willing to give them more of a chance now. The animation actually looked pretty decent for this. So I'm going to give this one one episode. I have no interest in judo. I have no interest in cute girls doing cute things. But you know what? This one, this one might turn it around. Who knows? Who knows? I might, I'll, I'll give this one a chance. Moving on to Near Automata. I mean, what can I say? This is one of this 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 game is an absolute banger. I love Nier. I've already talked about this previously on a previous stream. So well, let's just get straight to the trailers. I gotta ask, is there a long trailer for this? Has a long trailer been released yet? Because we've just had a bunch of like short trailers, haven't we? Don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> we've just got like a lot of short trailers. So we'll, we'll just watch the 2B and 9S trailer. When anime needed her the most, she was like, don't worry, internet, I will bring the horny. <laughs> when this comes out, the, when this comes out, the anime community will collectively get 10% more horny. Don't just, trust me on this, trust me, we'll... <sighs> you think, you think edgy anime is bringing the horny? Oh no, oh no. We ain't ready for anime 2B, man. We ain't ready for anime 2B. 
誰かと一緒に行動できるって楽しいんですそろそろ始まりますね Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm, go I'm just going to touch on this because I talked about this in a previous stream. But, <clears throat> if, you haven't, if you haven't played Nier,、uh, one of my biggest concerns about this anime、uh, is how they are going to adapt the very unique story of Nier. To anime form.、Uh, because Nier is like one of my favorite games. And what I love about Nier Automata is how it uses the medium of video gaming to tell its story. There are some fucking. Like, there are some moments in Nier Automata that will stick with me for the rest of my life with how fucking genius Yoko Taro is in like some of the crazy shit he does with the story. And some of the crazy shit he does with the video game.、Uh, and there are just some things that are impossible to translate into anything but video games. And,、uh, and it's, it's, there are some things that are just going to be impossible to adapt.、Uh, you know, I talked about recently that to even get all of the story, right? To even get all of the story of Nier Automata, you have to play the game three times. You have to restart and play the game three times. That's hard enough to adapt in anime form, right? And that's like the baseline level of the crazy shit that he puts into this video game. There are some batshit insane things in Nier Automata, and it worries me because I can't see it working in any other way but a video game. So. I'm going to be watching this because I'm a, he, I'm a huge Nier Automata fan.、Uh, I'm going to be watching this either way. If you've never played Nier Automata, I'd say give this three episodes,、uh, but at the very least, just go fucking play the game. It's an incredible game. It's, it's an incredible game. I'll, I'll say give this three episodes. The only reason I say give this three episodes is because、I've, I, think, I think it's a really, really good story. Uh, will it translate well into anime form? That's to be seen. <laughs> I said it! <laughs> I, I, didn't re I didn't realize that. I, I, I realized what I was saying mid sentence there. Mid sentence. I was like, I, mean, I, I was like oh god.、Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop being a fucking cringe lord for a second. Okay. Whether it can translate to the anime is like, still to be seen. But,、um, I saw your latest Trash Taste podcast that you and the anime man talked about the Trails Kiseki series. Yes. I hope you one day get into the JRPG series. Don't worry. It's one of my favorite world building I've already said, of all time. I've already said I'm 20 hours into Trails in the Sky,、um, so don't worry about that. Uh, but uh, whether it can live up to the game to be seen uh, is uh, still to be seen.、Uh, I don't think it will. And if you haven't played the game yet, I'd honestly just recommend playing the game or giving this three episodes and seeing if it's good.、Uh, I'm just excited to see Animated 2B. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited to see Animated 2B and Animated.、Um, <clears throat> and、uh, just some of, some of that animated culture, man. You fucking know. You know. You know. <laughs>、uh, but yeah, moving on. Uh, moving on to another piss break, actually. Let's, let's have another piss break.
All right, we're back. I got my coffee. Uh, made a made a coffee because it seems like we're gonna be in this for the long run, guys. Uh. Nespresso, hell yeah, man. We got we got that Nespresso coffee, man. <clears throat> That's a small cup. No, this is just a normal mug. This is just a normal cup. <laughs> I found the American, guys. I, f I found the American. <clears throat> Moving on to Ningen Fushi no Boken Boken Shata Boken Shatachi ga Sekai o Suku yo desu. Nick used to. I love it when I like read the most fucking Japanese name of all time. Then the character just Nick. <laughs> Yo, my boy Nick, man. <laughs> all right. Nick used to be a member of a veteran. Uh, Nick used to be a member of a veteran adventure party, helping his undisciplined friends with the account whenever he could. But what was his reward? Getting accused of embezzlement and kicked out by the leader he respected. Before long, before long, he finds a few other jaded adventurers and kindred spirits, and together they form their own unstoppable party. Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> So, kind of like, kind of similar to Shield Hero, I guess? I don't know, that, what, did I, did anyone else hear that and was just like, I, I, I got nothing from this. I got, so, what I can see is that this is a fantasy, and I could tell that by, uh, I could tell that by the uh, cover of this anime itself, and then that told me nothing. So let's hope the trailers tell me a bit more. There we got two trailers for this. なにが冒険者だ。何が冒険者だ。冒険者。どうせ仲間なんていずれ裏切る。隣り合う者と信じ合えるなんて絵空事だ。俺はもうあんな風に笑えなくなったのかもしれない。私が見ていたのは私自身
This, is this what dementia feels like? Fuck, man. Like, I'm questioning my own reality now. Fuck. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll give it one episode, man. It's the drugged coffee. Okay. Okay. Moving on to Nokemono Tachi no Yoru. <clears throat> Uh, Wisteria is an orphan girl living in a corner of a British- of the British Empire at the end of the 19th century. Ah! Ah! There's my history right there. All right, all right, all right. I don't remember wolves in my history. I don't remember whatever the fuck this is in my history. I don't remember dragons in my history. It's just, it's just uh, guys, anyone from England, can, can we confirm? Can we confirm? Did we just like, did we gloss over this in British history class? Guys? Her life is desolate and bleak until she encounters Malbus, uh, a powerful but equally lonely immortal being with a furry appearance. Well, where was this, where was this in history? Guys, did, uh, did furries found England? <laughs> Are we founded by furries? Is this, is this true? Is this true? What? What? Dragons were confined to whales? <laughs> oh no. Where where were the fur where did the furries come from then? <laughs> uh Together, Wisteria and Malbus roam the Empire, populated by human and human-like beasts, in search of a place where they can live together in peace. Okay, okay. Let's see let's see what this is about. Let's see if this is true to British history. If not, I am officially cancelling this anime. <laughs> 1900s Britain was wild, bro. <laughs> Yo, you weren't there, man. You weren't there. I was going to say, is this a British Magus Bride? But wasn't Magus Bride also in England? <laughs> what? What? Why does every weird daddy come from England, man? <laughs> We we got we got bone daddy, and now we have wolf daddy, man. Everyone's a furry. What the hell, man? Yo, what the hell? Is this is this true to history? Is this true to history? This this entire thing, this entire thing feels like an Alex Jones skit. And then in England, they had, they were they were ruled by the furries. The furries secretly made a council of furries, and they ruled England in the 1900s, guys. Guys, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, that that was that was that was interesting. Um, who is making this? Ashi Productions. We have we have Asahi Productions and Ashi Productions. <laughs> okay, they also haven't worked on much. Um, I mean, if if I if if I were to say the closest thing this felt like, it felt like Magus Bride a little bit, a little bit. But I don't, I don't. That's like I don't really know what to expect. Um, what is is it just what kind of show is this? Is this is this a drama? Is this it says drama fantasy romance? We are we doing Beauty and the Beast again? Again? Yo, Mamma Husoda already tried to do Beauty and the Beast, man. Uh so I'm gonna give this one one episode just to see what it's really about. And I wanna see my country represented correctly, guys. I was so disappointed. I I I you know what? I'm gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out, guys. I couldn't call it out. I don't think that that was an accurate representation of British history because I did not see a single shot of tea. So that that just proves to me that out of everything I saw, it might not be accurate. That's just me, though. That's just me. Okay. Moving on to... <clears throat> <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to <laughs> Onichan wa Oshimai by Studio Bind. 
<laughs> my okay okay so if you don't know studio bind i had no idea they were making other anime studio bind are the studio that are making mishoku tensei and that's a <laughs> and i thought they were only making mishoku tensei but but it seems but it seems like they're making other shows as well so let's see what this is about let's see what this is about Mahiro Oyama was just a normal erotic game loving dude. Oh my god, this is... We're doing this. We're really doing this, aren't we? Until he woke up one morning as a woman. Turns out his mad scientist little sister, Mahari, tried one of our... Uh, tried out one of her new experiments on him with a disastrous outcome. As far as my... With a disastrous outcome as far as... As far as Mahiro is concerned. But Mihari is determined. But Mihari is as determined to study him as he is determined to go back to his shut in game playing life. And one thing's for sure life is going to get a whole lot weirder from here on out. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> am I seeing gender bent RMO? Yo. Are we. Are we say Is this RMO gender bender? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Studio Bind have gone from, uh, Studio Bind have gone from, um, Studio Bind have gone from making Mishoku Tensei to another little sister, to a little sister anime. <laughs> Yo, I'm kind of getting the feeling maybe they're my guys, man. <laughs> Let's have a look at the trailer first. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. That was a joke. That was a joke. I, I, it was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Ah. <sighs> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> You know what? Let's let's all let's all guys guys let's 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 all let's all let's all give a prayer right now. Please. The go. manga is wholesome. Most of the time, there's defo some trash to behold. Yeah. Please, God of wholesome, please keep this show wholesome. We don't we don't need anything sus going on. We don't need the FBI to look at us closely or anything like that. Please I'm keep this show going wholesome. To jail for some of cuts I animated for this show. <laughs> hey, you animated for this? Bro. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> oh man. Well, I I I I hope yeah, I hope you kept it wholesome, Kay. I hope you kept it wholesome. Look, we're praying to the god of wholesome that this stays as a wholesome show. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, guys. Um, I love the chaos. I, I really like the chaotic energy. Uh, I really like the chaotic energy of this. Uh, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> there were some, there were some, there were some shots that uh, definitely looked sussy wussy. Uh, just <laughs> let's give a big rip for Kanematic and his sanity. Okay. Okay. So. Am I going to watch this? Well, Your Honor, I am going to give this one episode. Just, you know, be just because the trailer did not, did not, we, we didn't get a full taste of what this show was actually about after just the trailer. And Your Honor, please, uh, we are going into this without any knowledge of what this, what type of show this is gonna be, okay? I am hoping that this is going to be a nice, wholesome show with just some cute girls doing cute things and a bit of like gender bending here and there. That's, that's all I want, Your Honor, okay? I swear to God. <laughs> I have to say that for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in case this gets clipped, I was just like, look, 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 
it's uh I, I really i really do want this to be wholesome this is uh i th there are some like really really sussy scenes in there and i'm hoping i'm hoping that those are just the outliers <laughs> i'm hoping those are just the outliers <laughs> all right moving on to oh polygon pictures is doing polygon pictures is doing another anime it's been a while since they've done an anime Okay. Um, Oyukumi no Kaina. A world blanketed in an endless and ever growing ocean of snow. Ah, Canada. The people ache. The people eke out their lives. Oh, uh, no. The people eke out a living, either huddled around the roots of enormous trees dotting the surface or high in the canopy, which spreads over the planet's atmosphere. A chance meeting Kaina. A youth from the canopy and Lily, Liliha, a young woman from the surface, sets off a chain of events that will change the fate of the world. What is up with all of these? What is up with all of these synopsis? And it ends with, and something happens that will change the fate of everything. And he finds out that he has the fate of the world. And like... Like, bro, <laughs> come on, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what is going on right now. Let's, let's have a look at this. Where did we get up to? Bura. <laughs> CG as expected from Polygon, yep. Let's see if they've leveled up. Ooh. Fuck, is this... Is this the sequel to Fire Punch? <laughs> Anyone who's read Fire Punch? Is, it, is this the fucking sequel? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, is that the only trailer? That is the only trailer. <clears throat> okay. Uh, honestly, that 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 looked pretty interesting. Uh, I, the world of that of what was presented. I love a world that looks unique. You know, when I see the 10 millionth isekai world with dragons and mages and everything like that, it's, um, it's, it's, it's like, okay, I know how the world operates. That world looks really, really fucking unique. And it makes me wonder what is going on in that world, how the world operates and everything like that. Polygon pictures, we, uh, if you're not familiar with polygon pictures, basically all of their anime is CG. And their CG has always been, I'd say, passable. I wouldn't say it was good. I'd say it was passable. It didn't like it. It didn't look bad, um, but it wasn't like incredible. They were. Or they've always been a step below Studio Orange, who have been the other CG studio that have done like Hoseki no Kuni, B Stars, um, and stuff like that. And they use CG to like what I would say is the peak. Polygon Pictures have done some good shows in the past, but their CG, I, I could never understand why they use CG over 2D animation. And this one seems like they're still kind of on that same level. But the actual world and the story itself really fucking interests me. I was getting immersed in that trailer just trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, is this an anime original? It is an anime original as well. So that, okay, okay. You had my curiosity, now you have my attention. Let's see... Who is working on this? Okay. 
Oh, oh shit. So it's coming from the creator of Blam. Okay, I'm fucking interested in this. I I am I am interested in this now. I'm interested in this. Their anime is still great. I love their use of CG. Yeah. They I, I feel like Polygon Pictures can be hit and miss. They've made some good shows and they've made some uh, okay shows. Okay. So it was it was the director of Arjun. I liked Arjun actually. Arjun was like really good. Okay. You know what? Who's the series composition? Okay, so it seems to be an all in-house production from Polygon Pictures, which shouldn't be too surprising. Okay. Um I'm kind of I kind of really dig this. The story the story seems nice. The CG makes me cry. I mean, I don't I don't think the CG looks that bad. I it's it doesn't look as pretty as some 2D anime, but it doesn't look bad. It's it looks really interesting. Actually, who's the, who's doing the music for this? Who's doing the music? Cuz the music sounded really good as well. Kota Yamamoto. All right. Oh, it Okay, okay. So he's the one who did the final season of Attack on Titan. All right, all right. I trust it. I trust it. Okay. And some music for 86. Oh, yeah, he works really close with uh, Hiroyuki Samano. I'm gonna give this one three episodes. I was... That looks like... Unironically, unironically, that looks like the most unique story we've seen so far out of, out of everything. Uh, this one's... This one's definitely... That, this one's definitely piqued my interest. Oh, thank you very much, Payne, for the five gift subs. Uh, this one's definitely really unique, and that stands out. And I feel like, okay, hypothetical question. If this wasn't in CG, and this was actually like, and this was 2D animation, would this have changed your opinion at all? Okay, because this CG or not, this just looked like a really, really interesting show. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one three episodes. Because I, I trust Polygon Pictures um that they don't do bad cg at all uh, and i believe that they can make a good show and tell a good story all right moving on to otanari no tenshi sama ni it's uh it's no man mani it's no what the fuck is this otanari no tenshi sama ni it's no makia manika dame ningen ni sarete taken Okay, so we have a romance comedy. Is this is this popular? Is this popular at all? Um, Amani lives alone in an apartment and the most beautiful girl in school. Oh, sorry, that was that wasn't the end of the sentence. Amani lives a Amani lives alone in an apartment and the beautiful and the most beautiful girl in school, Mahiru, lives just next door. They've almost never spoken until the day he sees her in distress on a rainy day and lends her his umbrella. To return the favor, she offers him help around the house, and a relationship slowly begins to blossom as the distance between them closes. Okay, that sounds like a pretty generic romance anime kind of you know kind of synopsis but let's look at the trailer to see if it looks good Hey, 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 I like that. I like that. You know what? You know what? We we've we've had we've had enough sussy camera angles, guys. We've had enough, okay? This anime went no! No! We are a Christian anime, guys! We are a Christian anime! She is well-dressed, and even though she's well-dressed, no! 
No horny for you. No horny. Get out of there. We ain't doing that here. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> Alright, I think we got two trailers. Tenshi Sama. Sorega Waga Gakoni Okeru. Sina Mahiru no Yobinada. Orega Niwa Teno Totokanai. Gonna be honest, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of movement in this animation. Toyuka Bro, bro, what is this room? <laughs> you live like this? Yo, bitch, you live like this, bro? What is that? What is that? Memo,当てられませんね。さすがに放っておけません。ちゃんとご飯を食べて、規則正しい生活をするのですよ。すげえな、天使。その呼び方はやめてください。こうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうしてこうして
because <laughs> I like how he won the Pokemon League and now he's just like, okay guys, I'm retired now guys. I am now retired. <laughs> All right. Moving on to Revenger. <laughs> what a fucking name, man. What a name. Not Avenger, we got Revenger. <laughs> just fucking Revenger, man. I swear to god. You know what? I hope they say the name of this anime in the show, man. I hope- I hope so bad. So bad they say the name of the anime in the show. I'm the revenge. I wonder, is he gonna do some revenging? As a master assassin, Usui Yuen looks into a series of assassinations made on the Grand Samurai Clan, the, Sats the Satsuma. <clears throat> He encounters Kurumi Raizo, member and survivor of one of the attacks. Together, they discover the true nature of these murders is bigger than over uh, is bigger than over stolen resources. As they get closer to the truth, will they come out alive to exact revenge? They're doing some fucking revenging, guys. Let's go. Let's fucking go. All right. Let's see how much revenging they're gonna do in these trailers. All right. Are we- are we ready for some fucking revenging? I'm- I'm gonna revenge so fucking hard. <笑><笑><笑> なんであんな奴仲間に入れなきゃいけないのさ。絶対嫌だね。これ以上不快にさせるとバスマス厄介なことになる。俺には償わなければならないことが。おお、オッケー、オッケー。私たちがいる。ふ。ふ。ふ。
<laughs> Yo, Gatorabuchi is back? He's back? <laughs> Yo. It's, it's been so long. It's been too long. <laughs> Yo, is he finally back from Kamen Rider? Hell fucking yeah. Oh, no wonder it... <laughs> no wonder it went so hard. Alright. Director... Have not watched. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Someone said, "Yo, fairy tale." <laughs> Did the fairy tale movie? All right, let's see who else is working on this. Okay, so it's a new Genrobuchi anime. Uh, music is new. Okay. Honestly, <clears throat> okay. After looking at that, this just this looks like fun. This just looks like fun, man. This looks like fun. Urobuchi is enough for me to give this one a chance and check this out. Seeing seeing motherfuckers getting sliced into atoms and and having our archer completely disintegrating a boat. That was weight. That was that was enough for me. That was enough. I'm gonna give this one three episodes. This one looks like fun. My guy sniped that my guy sniped that boat out of existence, man. <laughs> Hawkeye Pog, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um I'm just hoping that there's going to be a lot of revenging into the uh with revenging in this. Uh yeah. I'm I'm excited to see another Genarobuchi show. Do I think this is gonna be him at his peak? No. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And don't we need some fucking fun in our lives sometimes, guys? I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give this one three episodes. Moving on. Oh, fuck. We, we have... We have a lot of isekais. How many, how many do we have left? We've been streaming for four hours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Dean shows left. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Ugh, I might need a snack or something after this. I'm getting a little bit peckish. All right. Uh, Rogan is. Uh, <coughs> blah blah blah. Hold on. I need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a quick snack quickly. Just because I'm feeling a little bit low energy. So let me let me get a snack quickly.
All right, guys, uh, I'm very sad to say that I've run out of bananas. Um, so don't fucking tell Sydney, don't you fucking say a word to Sydney that I stole one of her little uh, fruit snacks. <laughs> Don't fucking say anything to Sydney, yo, yo. We we ain't we ain't snitching, man. We 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 ain't no snitches here, right? We ain't no snitches here. <laughs> yo, we we ain't snitches, man. We ain't snitching here. I didn't I didn't cultivate a community of snitches, guys. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Logo ni sonaite sonai. Fuck! I just my 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 brain. When I when I read enough fucking Japanese words, it's like harder for me to read Japanese words spelt out in English than it is for me to read Japanese words just like spelt out phonetically in hiragana. Brain dead. Brain dead. What's the fucking English name? Let's just go to the English name. <laughs> like, does, does anyone else feel like reading Romaji is harder than he like reading Hiragana when it's like? <laughs> <clears throat> it's just, it's just like the words just don't compute in my brain. All right. So the English, the English title is. Saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. Okay. It is an isekai. <laughs> but we knew that. Alright. Mita is an 18-year-old girl who's often mistaken for a middle schooler due to her childlike face and small stature. Thank you very much for the bits. First you steal bananas from Connor, now you're stealing Fruit Loops from Sydney. When will it end, Garnt? This Bro. is a healthy lol. Bro, I, I didn't steal shit from Connor, man. I've always, I've always loved bananas. The story begins when she loses her parents and her older brother at the same time in an accident and ends up all alone in the world. She fails her university entrance exams due to shock of losing her parents. Damn, that 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 fucking that fucking took a turn. There are people who are after her parents' insurance money. <laughs> oh, she loaded, baby. Oh, she loaded. <sighs> she doesn't know whether she should go to college or start working. There are also lots of expenses to worry about, including living expenses and the cost of maintaining the house. One day, as she worries about how she'll survive, she She's given the world jumping ability by a mysterious being that go that allows her to go back and forth between this world and an isekai. Now that she has this ability, she comes up with a plan for the future in which she saves 1 billion yen in each world for a total of 2 billion yen. <laughs> so, my girl, my girl speedrunning retirement. What, what? Why did we not just call this retirement in another world? Bro, yo, invest that money, man. Just, uh, yo, buy some property. Come on, get into the stock market, man. What? Come on. <laughs> she on the grinds, man. Where's that insurance money? All right. Let's have a look at the trailer. その時、不思議なことが起こった。不良たちに絡まれ、崖から転落して死を覚悟した私、山野水葉。細かい説明を省くけど、いきなり神様的な存在が現れて天外孤独のこの18歳にすごい能力を与えてくれた。それはこの世界と異世界を自由に生きてできる能力。勝った。これもう進学や就職に悩む必要ないじゃん。私老後
I like how they call this a retirement anime. Is no one gonna call this out for, um... <laughs> this isn't a retirement anime. She's embezzling money into another world. Yo, you think the IRS are fucking hunting her? Yeah, like, like, where, where's the IRS in all of this, man? It's not, not nice, nice way to say you're dodging taxes in another world, man. <laughs> ある時、我の精神エネルギーの一部が虫に取られ、お前の精神という申し。え、お前に世界を渡る能力が付加されたようでや。ここと地球を自由に行き来できるのか、お兄ちゃんならどうするかな。チートな能力を使うためにある。この
Uh, and a new life. What I lacked in my previous life was cunning. In this life, I'll be more calculating and find happiness. With the strongest exorcist techniques and strong demons working for him, what lies ahead for him? The peaceful life he wants or... This is the start of a journey. Uh, this is the start of a story no one's ever seen before. Ha! Ha! Bet! Yo! Yo! Stop the cap! Stop the cap! Yo! Stop the cap, man! I can't believe it fucking said that. Um, this is the start of a story no one's ever seen before. The story of the strongest exorcist in the fantasy world. <laughs> I mean, I'll give it to them. I don't think we've seen an exorcist in the fantasy world. Is it a story we've never seen before? Let's find out, guys. Take your bets now. Is this going to be like no other story you've seen before? The animation doesn't look bad. <laughs> God damn it, why does the animation not look bad? I wanted to clown on this man. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why, why is this actually looking good? What? Why, why, why the fuck is this looking? Why, why is this looking good? Go fucking damn it! What? <laughs> why does this not look bad? また赤を愛せられるなんて。やめろ、バカ。ハナエ。異想はもう嫌なので。エミリア。新入生代表アミュです。私の目的はただ一つ。強くなること。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる。強くなる
it it did it did look dodgy. Um, is this based on is this is based on a light novel? I'll give it an episode because there there there, there, are, there are so many there's so many fucking isekai this season. Even even I'm getting isekai overload. I I need to be very very picky. Um, has this studio done anything before? Okay, nothing nothing I've heard of before. Um, was there anything else? I was I was thinking something, and it's gone. So I can't, I can't remember what else I was going to say about this, but I'm going to give this an episode. Do I think it is the start of a story I've never seen before? No. I don't. I don't know why they put that in there. I don't. I don't, I, I don't know why they put that in there. I'll. I'll take. I'll take some bets now. I will take some bets now. <laughs> but it did look like fun. It did look like fun. Three episodes. Commit to it. Fuck no, man. Fuck no. You commit to it. Yo, anim watching anime is my job, and I barely have time to watch everything that's airing this season. <laughs> Go on. Uh. Okay, moving on to. What the fuck is this? It's another sequel. I'm going to skip this because I've never heard of this before. Um, <clears throat> and we are going to go to Spy Kyoshitsu. Conflict, uh, conflict rage nations now deploy covert operations. Uh, sorry. Conflict Rage Nations now deploy covert operatives instead of missiles. Lily is recruited into spy training, but her practical skills are absolutely abysmal. Desperate to pass, she leaps at the chance to join the mysterious Tomoshibi, Tomoshibi team. Too bad the team is filled with even more hopeless spies. Together, they must conquer the impassable mission and best their genius instructor, but the true purpose behind their classroom is more harrowing than they can imagine. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, this, this, this kind of sounds very similar to Licorice Recoil that just aired. A bunch of, like, cute girls with guns, secret operative spies. So uh, let's uh, let's 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 see what they got. Let's see what they got. Is this it? No, this is this is the one we skipped. All right. Oh, it's Daddy Katakawa, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Katakawa, not doing any Sakai. Are you okay? Are you you okay, Dad? You okay? ゲンダイで行われるおもてろ戦争は終結し現代で行われるのはスパイたちの情報戦影の戦争ふん朝から大忙しですね頼れるリーダーは紅茶の代わりいかがですかそれ。<笑> <笑>現代で行われるのはスパイたちの情報戦影の戦争朝から大忙しですね頼れるリーダーは紅茶の代わりいかがですか俺じゃ命が行くつあっても対応しねい僕の相手にはならないナイスあざとさだわなかなかエ
I didn't I didn't see too much action. And coming off like the last Q girls with you know the last kind of like Q girls with guns joining this like organization, like assassin covert organization was Licorice Recoil. And I think that just sets the bar so impossibly high for other Q girls with gun shows that I'm it's just <laughs> <laughs> this just feels very tame in comparison. So I'll give this one. I'll give this one a shot. I'll give this one a shot. I'll give. I'll give it an episode uh, to see if it does anything impressive about it. It says it's a light novel. Am I? Am I the only one that got the energy that if you didn't tell me this was based on a light novel, I would have assumed that this was based on a gacha game. This is. <laughs> This is a. I I look at this and I'm like, why is this not a gacha game? This has gacha game energy written all over it, bro. It's, it's kind. Of, it's almost kind of a waste to have this as a light novel. I'm like, yo, you see these girls that we're pulling for? Okay, okay, you can get that. You can get that girl. All right, I'll give this one an episode. Moving on. Uh, two, sugar apple, sugar apple fairy tale. What is this one? In a world where fairies are bought and sold to the highest bidder, humans aren't exactly on the friendliest terms. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Humans aren't exactly on friendly terms with the fey folk, but friendship is exactly what Anna Halford seeks with Char uh, with with Chale? Chal Chal. Is that how you pronounce it, Chal? I was gonna say Charlie, and then I was like, oh no, that's two L's. Um, her new fa her new fairy bodyguard, though he's not so keen on the idea. As his new uh, as his new master, Anne, uh, Anne tasks him with escorting her through a particularly dangerous area, but with a reluctant bodyguard eager to escape a life of servitu servitude, she'll have to deal with a lot more than she bargained for. <laughs> Yo, is this is this is this a bit of slavery right here? Is this is is this is this some slavery right there? Is this a slave any percent speed run? You know what? You know what? I li <laughs> is this weird that this is the first time I've seen uh <laughs> I've seen I've seen the girl be the master of the guy normally normally it's an normally it's the other way around right we got a we got a male slave this time guys <laughs> all right let's see how this is <laughs> guys guys it's it's actually not slavery okay it's, it's 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 a male servant okay he's he's a he's not a slave he's a servant guys come on <laughs>綺麗。なんてものじゃない。こんな妖精見たことない。一生で一つ約束する。ルイストに到着したらシャルに羽を返す。金貨で買った妖精を逃がす。そんなお目で大人気いるのか。そんな君が僕は好きなんだ。だから
私は作る砂糖菓子を God damn man! 仕事だから Slavery has never looked so wholesome before, man. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>、uh, mail-in type show. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you're right on that, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's that's you know, guys. We we can learn. We can learn a thing. We can learn a thing from the girls. Girls, they they. They got slavery right, man. They this is they they got the wholesome slavery right, man. They 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 got all the wholesome slavery. What do we do? We fucking like we fucking brand. <laughs> Look at Shield Hero. We have to fucking brand the slaves, man. Get get the fuck out. He got them Gojo eyes, man. Look at that! My God! <laughs> Yo, those are some beautiful, bloody eyes, man. Daddy, after those Daddy, eyes, man. I'm I'm gay now. <laughs> uh brilliant. Um yeah, I mean, it's been a while. It seems like when is the last time we had a reverse harem? It's been a long it's been so long since I've seen since I've seen a reverse harem. That one actually looked really really decent. I can see why it's called Sugar Apple Fairy Tale cuz oh my god, that looked so fucking sweet. It looked wholesome as hell. Uh and This is, you know, it's. I'm, 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 I'm hitting Mei Lin. I'm gonna be like, yo, Mei Lin, you gotta check this show out. I don't know. I think this show actually might be a bit too wholesome for Mei Lin. Uh, not enough sweat licking, you know. So I'm gonna give this one personally one episode just to see what it's all about. Emily would love this whole year. Emily would fucking love this, man. <laughs> all right. Moving on to Technoroid Overmind. The story of wretched, beautiful androids is set on the entertainment tower Babel, the new source of hope for humanity after climate change has submerged the world underwater. Several unique musical units compete to rise to the top of Babel by moving the hearts of both humans and androids with their performances. Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, uh, this is an idol show. This is a male idol show, it seems like. It seems like this is a male idol show. Let's, let's, let's just confirm. Androidを、ご存知ですか? Well, that was a trailer. That was a trailer. <laughs> This is another. This is a different type of gacha game. Is this a gacha game? This is. I, I'm feeling gacha game energy all over this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised, guys. That was one of the trailers of all time. Um, even if I we could see the entire trailer, I'd probably skip this one anyway. So I'm just gonna give this one a skip. 
and move on to how many do we have left still got quite a lot left <clears throat> to um I'm, I'm just gonna read the english title for this i'm done reading romaji for the day man i'm done <laughs> The magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady Maggi Revo. I don't know what that is. Oh, screen. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. So, despite her supposed ineptitude with regular magic, Princess Anis, Princess Anisphia, this uh, Princess Anisphia defies the aristocracy's expectations by developing magicolog... What the fuck is this? Magicolog... Magicologi? Cologi? What the fuck is that? <clears throat> uh, she defies the aristocracy's expectations by developing magic <laughs> Magicology. <laughs> how do I English? How, do, how the fuck do I English, bro? <laughs> Magicology. That's it. That's it. Fucking, fucking my brain. My brain is done. Stop making up words, man. <laughs> no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm committing. Uh, she developed Magicology. <laughs> A unique magical theory based on the memories from her past life. One day she witnesses the brilliant noblewoman, uh, <laughs> Euphelia, uh, unjustly stripped of her title as the kingdom's next monarch. That's when Anisphia. <sighs> oh, why do you have such fucking. <laughs> These fucking names, man! Uh, that's when Anisphia. Concord. Con Concocts. <laughs> what is my this this you can tell I've been reading for like four hours and forty minutes, man. <laughs> um that's when Anisphia concocts a plan to help Euphelia regain her good name, which somehow involves them living together and researching magic. Little do these two ladies know, however. <coughs> that their chance encounter will alter not only their own future, but those of the kingdom <clears throat> and the entire world. Once again, once again, the entire world is at stake, guys, is at stake. Um, okay, let's have a look at this trailer. Back to fucking Katakawa. <coughs>魔法使いは誰かを笑顔にするためにその魔法を使う。それが私の目指す魔法使いだからね。私は時を否して放射クレージを通して強く立つ。確かあろうと。天気よし。風速よし。絶好の実験日和。本当に飛んでる。先生の
This is uh, this is a no boys allowed zone, guys. We we've we've had enough boys in our fantasy. This is a no boys allowed zone, um, and I'm all for it. That looks pretty damn good. The animation looks. I didn't. I don't. I've no Dio Media have done another other anime. I don't know if they've actually done anime that generally look good. Um, unfortunately, it's another fucking fantasy, boy. It's another fucking fantasy, man. It's a, it's another fantasy. Oh, God. There's so much fantasy, man. We're gonna have a fantasy overload, man. Uh, I think the animation gives this... Even though I really don't want to give this three episodes, because we have had enough fantasies this season i'm gonna give this one three episodes because it looks genuinely decent uh, the animation looks good and i'm interested i am interested please please let that please let that be the last fantasy i can't i can't take it anymore is this is this a test are the are the isekai gods testing me is is this a test Oh lords, are you testing me right now? <laughs> I just... I like... I like my isekais. I like my fantasies. But my god. I mentioned trails in one of your streams before and I'm glad you are starting. Before you start, I'll have to warn you that the Cold Steel anime, though about a side story, does have mild spoilers in the trailer. Just wanna let you and chat know. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, Kiseki. Okay, so this is part of the trails. So this is Trails of Cold Steel. Okay. So, probably gonna skip this one then, because I am just gonna play the game, and I don't really want any spoilers right now. So, that's going to be me skipping this one. Um, although if you've missed, if, uh, if you missed the beginning, uh, if you missed the beginning of this stream, I'm 20 hours in to my journey in the entire trail series, so I'm right at the beginning. Uh, so, I'll watch it when I get to the game, I guess. Thank you, Donation, for being clutch. Oh, we got the second season of Tokyo Revengers. Alright, let's see if this trailer has increased the animation at all. We got any Tokyo Revengers fans in the chat now, right now? Because I know- I remember when this anime came out, people hyped it the fuck up. People hyped this shit up so fucking much. And I'm like, this is the most generic adaptation of all time. Even if you wanted to consume Tokyo Revengers, I don't know why you would ever choose the anime over reading the manga. Yo, I don't know what- One thing that's always bothered me about Tokyo Revengers is I don't know what you were doing at 14 years old, but I was not getting into fucking gang wars at 14 years old, man. I didn't know any fucking 14 years old that 14 year old that were getting into fucking bloody gang wars. <laughs> are you fucking? Sh are you shitting me? <laughs> um, even uh, I tried getting into Tokyo Revengers, and it just didn't really grab me, and. Even if I wanted to continue, I would never continue via the anime. I, I would 100% continue via the manga, because the anime just looks like the most bog-standard adaptation of all time. Uh, and I, I, I don't know why you'd pick... I, I don't know why anyone would ever pick the anime over the manga. So this one is an easy skip for me. If you want to get into Tokyo Revengers, just go read the manga, guys. You, you can get through it faster. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Tomo-chan wa onna no ko. Boyish high school girl, Aizawa Tomo, finally manages to tell her childhood friend Jun that she's got a crush on him. Unfortunately, her confession goes right over his head. He didn't even realize she was a girl until junior high school, bro. Bro. <laughs> That's a bro moment. And even now, Jun still thinks of her as a bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> How can Tomo-chan possibly convince him otherwise to win and win Jun's heart? Alright, I have a feeling this one's gonna be fun. I have... My girl's getting bro zones, man! My girl is getting bro zones! Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
あれは間違いなく愛の告白だった純の野郎はいつまでも男扱いしやがって Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah Some tomboy representation I'm fucking, I'm all for it man Give me that, give me that shit all day long Bro, are you, is he blind? Is he fucking blind? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. This is, this is the kind of romantic comedy I like. <laughs> oh. Least gayest JoJo fans be like... That looks like a lot of fun. Is that you, Sydney? Yeah, who else would it be, guys? I don't, I don't know. Can you close the door? Sydney? Sydney? Can you close the door, please? On, okay. <laughs> um, where was I? For, uh, I fried my brain. Brain, brain fried, brain fried. Um... Okay, yeah. What? Oh. Ooh, looking good. Do you what want do you... a glass of wine? Uh, maybe after I finish the stream. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shows left. When do we have to film our video, by the way? Well, obviously we have to leave in an hour, so. We have to leave in an hour? All right, I got a street. I got to speed run this then. Okay. Well, <clears throat> okay. No. <laughs> what? You better have time to record, honey, for me. Okay, okay, I will. Okay. I will. I will. <clears throat> all right, guys, we're gonna speed run the last seven shows. All right. Um, I'm gonna give this one three episodes. This one looks like a lot of fun, and fuck yes. More tomboys in my anime? Hell yeah, we, we need more- we need more tomboys. I feel like- I feel like... How, when was the last time we had like a proper tomboy being the main love interest? I'm- I'm definitely giving us this one three episodes at least. Full? Alright, moving on. Two. Oh, this one! I've heard- I've heard of this one. Uh, this one is campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. So, I've heard of this one. Uh, Mukoda Tsuyoshi, an ordinary salary man, is suddenly transported to another world one day. The unique skill he gains upon arrival in this world is seemingly useless. Online grocery. <laughs> my, my boy, my boy's superpower is Amazon. <laughs> Yo, Jeff Bezos in another world, let's go. <laughs> Mukoto is discouraged at first, but the modern food he's able to bring to his new world using the skills proved to have some unbelievable effects. All right, let's let's have a look at the anime. All right. Why is this black? Uh, hello? Is it a black screen for you guys? What the fuck? What the hell happened? All right, hold on a second. I don't know why. I don't know why that just disappeared. Okay, there we go. Fucking hell! What happened? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Did I piss off the almighty Bezos? Is that it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you unhappy? Were you unhappy, Master Bezos? <laughs> I'm I'm terribly sorry. <sighs> All right. Does that look okay? Uh... Hmm. 
Great. Why? Why did? Why the fuck did my? Oh no, I know. Okay. There we go. And the Genshin death thing is back. Okay, we have fixed it. We have fixed it. Okay. Okay. これぞ奇跡。人々を苦しめる魔王の存在は俺だって許せない。私の力がやっと。あの、私は勇者じゃないみたいですし、地味に暮らしていこうと思います。いいで。レッドスーパー。これを使えるぞ。金さえ。O
感情は不要身も心も全て捧げればいいんだよ人間って悪趣味自分が死ぬとは考えなかった you know, she's a new I don't recognize her from the original Trigon とてもかなう相手じゃないおとなしく見ていろ奴らが滅びる様をお前らには聞こえなかったのか彼女たちの断末魔がすまない人間を許してくれナイブス様の崇高なる計画のためあらゆる異物を排除するんだあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああバッシュ。Bro, I, rem I remember. I remember that scene in the original anime. When he faced off against them. Oh, I don't have to make it easy. That's why I don't have to make it easy. So, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. No. I'm not my people. I can't get rid of the plant. I'm going to get rid of the life of this city. What kind of view are you? プラント強奪事件の犯人はウリ二つの顔をした双子の兄だとそいつがプラントを狙う理由は何だほなもしもし行こうかバッシュさん何者ですの、oh, so、ゲリオンの内物と仲直りできるとか思ってないやろなお人よしをああ、OK、OK、This looks like he's gonna have some banging action scenes as well 仲なんかないからそれはお互い様だろバッシュ。解放するんだ。コメント、Is he the Trigun? And then all I'll say is, it's called Trigun for a reason. What does, what does Tri mean? <laughs> What does try mean? What does try mean? <laughs> the try gun is real, guys. <laughs> oh, the music sounds so good as well. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. My boys at Orange are gonna do this justice. I believe, man. I believe. Trigun to me was one of the first anime that I watched, knowing what anime was. It was like the third anime I watched after Naruto. And I trust Studio Orange. I like how there has been two reactions to these trailers. One is, God damn, this actually looks smooth and sick as fuck. And the other one is, Lol Kek WCG.、Um, I don't know if the CG. Is the best for the Trigun aesthetic compared to the manga. But what I will say is, as an adaptation, I trust Orange. And I personally, my personal th opinion is that I think it looks good. I, I genuinely think it looks good.、Um, I think it looks a bit cartoony at times, which I don't know if it is the best for some of Trigun's more serious moments because Tri Trigun has some pretty serious moments. Um, but it also has a lot of comedic moments as well. So I think the action is going to be really fucking good、um, because Orange have proved they can do really good action. What I am concerned about is does this style, is this style going to be able to sell some of the darker moments of the story? And that is what remains to be seen. Having said that, it's fucking Trigun. It's a fucking great story. Vash and Wolfwood are possibly my favorite duo in anime. Like, I've, I, I can't think of a duo that just h a v e as much chemistry as these two do.、Um, and that's why Trigun is an easy must watch for me. Moving on <clears throat> to. Oh, we got a, we got a fucking Tsundere show.、Uh, 
Endo and Koy uh Endo and Koy uh sorry, fucking Endo and Kobayashi Live, the latest on Tsundere Villainess. <laughs> we got a Tsundere Villainess? Hell fucking hell yes! Hell yes! Alright, Endo and Kobayashi just decided to play a magical romance, an Otome game featuring a devious <laughs> devious villain named uh <laughs> Uh, how do I pronounce this? Lice a lot. Lice. Lice a lot? Lice. I'm gonna say Lice a lot. <laughs> uh, featuring a devious villainess named Lice a lot. Uh, Kobayashi thinks Lice a lot is a traditional dastardly villain, but Endo insists that Lice a lot is just misunderstood. Uh, the pair bicker and argue about her character and motivations, but little do they know that Leaslet, in-game fiancé, can hear that every word, and their colourful chatter will lead them down a completely different path that his character is supposed to tread. Alright, let's just watch the trailer for this one. I probably butchered that name. <laughs> うん。解説うん。テレビゲーム、マジカルに恋して、通称マジ恋の実況と解説をすることにした遠藤くんと小林さん。そうそう。飲み込みが早いね。そうですか。ありがとうございます。どういうおつもり私の婚約者、ジーク
that we're gonna have this fucking season. My God, there's there's so many fucking shows. It's a one episode for me. We'll we'll add we'll add it we'll add it to a pile. But I swear to God, this is this is the last fantasy. This is the last fantasy. I swear, guys. I swear. Only one? Yes, only one. Just because we we there's, there's so much. There's 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 so much, man. There's so much. <laughs> fantasy and isekai. <laughs> I need I need a way to get through this, man. <laughs> All right, moving on. This is the second season of Tsurune. I didn't watch the first one and I'm short on time. So we're gonna skip this one. Um, even though it is by, I should mention it's by KyoAni. And uh, pay respect to KyoAni, but we're gonna skip this one because we've got two left and we need to get through this. So we've got a new anime from Cloverworks, Unite Up. The anime story centers around Akira, Kiyos uh, Akira Kiyos uh, Kiyose. Yeah, Akira Kiyose, who sings on a video streaming site under the singer name Kikunoya. One day, the talent agency... Oh, yeah, it's, 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 an, it's an idol show. It's, it's a male idol show. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... You know what? Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look if this is... Smiley uh... Right, like, get, get, show, show me animation, show me animation. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this one. Let's just go to what we want to do. Uh, let's just end this on fucking the second season of Vinland Saga. All right, I don't need, I don't need to tell you much, guys. I don't need to tell you much. All right, we are. Finally at the second season of Vinland Saga, and once again, MAPPA have collected all of the Infinity Stones. They've taken over from Studio Wits. Let's have a look at how the trailers look. We have two trailers. Senjonita Yo, is this attack on Titan? God, God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> そうでないものもいる。くじけるなよ。二人とも。俺はイングランドに行くぜ。近いうちに必ず会う。こんなど田舎で一生終わってたまるかよ。ふう。人には得て増えてが。不純のミュージックフォーデスマン。ミニオタ
ことはありますかお前はお前は死にたいのかはあ、oh, I'm so hyped I am so hyped That It looks like It looks like Looks like Mappa is doing my boy well, man. Looks like Mappa is doing my boy well. Um, that music was amazing. I am so excited for Vinland Saga Season 2, and I'm also excited to see the reaction for Vinland Saga Season 2. Um, it's going to be a very divisive season, okay? People are going to come into Season 2 thinking that this is going to be Game of Thrones and they're going to be greeted with Harvest Moon. It's but... It is... It is still... It, this is... This is where... This is where I think... Vinland Saga shows the real story that it is, okay? This is where the story of Thorfinn it's his journey of becoming a, uh, of growing from a boy to becoming a man. Uh, it's, it's not going to be the same kind of story as season one. Askeladd, there is there is no replacement for Askeladd. There is there will never be a replacement for Askeladd. But it is a different kind of story, and I think even though it goes in a completely different direction from what the prologue kind of set it up as. It is still just as incredible in my eyes uh, and it hits just as hard. It just hits differently than what happened in season one. Uh, and it looks like they're going to do it justice. Vinland Saga is one of the greatest manga I think that has ever been made. And it is, it's, a, it's an easy must watch. It looks like Mappa is doing a great job of this and ironically i think that the the farmland arc is going to be easier to adapt than uh than the first arc okay it's, it's gonna be easier to adapt that's all i'll say that's all i'll say <laughs> they, they, they don't they, they don't need to fuck this up man <laughs> you know the, the first one had way more action in this one this one this one is a much more of a character drama and a character piece but that is it for today. I am going to leave it there. Um, because I gotta go record a I gotta record a video with Sydney. Uh initial thoughts. My fucking god. There are there's, there's too much fantasy this season, man. Even, even I'm saying that, man. There's too much fantasy this season. There is there is so much fucking fantasy this season. Um that my my brain go my brain go overloads. Uh, even though there are like 11, 12 more shows this season, I'm going to be honest, I think this season's weaker than previous seasons this year, but winter season is normally pretty weak. At least we got Vinland Saga and Trigun. That's what I'm very, very excited for. But there wasn't really an anime, like there wasn't really a new IP I was excited for, which normally there's one really... There's one killer new IP that I'm really, really excited for, and everything that I'm excited for this season is basically a season two or a remake. Um, so I'm going to end it there. Who do we, who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid? Uh, who's online right now? I'm not logged in on this one. Skara? All right, let's let's. If Skara's on, I'll, I'll I'll raid Skara. It's been a while since I talked to Skara. Uh, let me just let me just check. Is he is he on? Okay, I wasn't logged in. All right, he is on. Oh no, he literally just ended the stream, right? <laughs> Wait, is he, is, is he actually on or is he raiding another, is he raiding someone else? Okay, yeah, he just, he just stopped. Okay. Um, um, who, well, okay, there we go, there we go. I guess I'll, I'll raid Rob then. Okay.
Well, good thing I didn't raid. <clears throat> raid Scara. All right. Thank you very much for joining the stream. That was the winter 2023 seasonal anime chart. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something to watch this season because my God, if you couldn't find something to watch in 55 shows, <laughs> we all, we're, we're all doomed, man. Anyway, though, that's it from me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.